Leo, would it be great to see you and I live? I think so. I like to see the fans live. Ooh, they are a bunch of sick bastards, mm -hmm. these fans. Well, it's a good thing we've got a show right in the center of Southern California. Ontario, California, baby. On June 24th, this Friday. This Friday. You're seeing this episode on Tuesday. Get your tickets. They're yep. going to be in the description. Yep. Come out. We have a limited amount of tickets. It's a restaurant. It's called Alas Seis. It's on. It's 425 North Vineyard Avenue in Ontario, California, 91764. That's all going to be in the Eventbrite and description. Come out. Come hang out with us. Live show. Live no show. Rules. It's going to be wild. I've heard Rat Dick Ralph is going to be there, he told me. Is he coming? He's coming. Rat Pussy Pam, it's rumored. Oh, might, will uh, be there, too. Might roll herself out of the house. Maybe Rat Pussy Pam, too. He said he has well, two now. Roll. Uh, he's got two? Oh, he, he did say that, That's what he claimed on our pod, is that he Listen. has two Rat Pussies. Mm. Uh, everybody from the channel, I believe, Swolby, uh, Mudflap, Austin and Dino, and Lynn Iggy is going to be there. Overboard's probably going to be there, right? You coming to the show, Overboard? June 24th? You should bench your chick over live on stage. Dude, actually, you should. I'm down. Oh, my God, that'd be Step sick. Down. If you guys wanted to bang there, I mean, yeah, that'd be great OnlyFans content. Um, now, listen, come out. Let's have a great time. It's uh, There's going to be there's a full bar and a full kitchen. Great Mexican food mm. and fine a cuisine. lot of drinks. Yeah, fine cuisine. cuisine. Come on out, guys. Come also, uh, before we get started, check out our Patreon if you Please want an extra do. episode of this every week. Yes. Let's get into the pod. Leo? Yes? I got you a gift. It's Juneteenth. Really? It's Father's Day. Really? Yeah. I wonder if this is, a, is this an honest, nice gift from your heart or... It's maybe one of those gag gifts, which I presume are the only kind of gifts you give. You're that guy at the party, aren't you? You think I'm incapable of tenderness? Well, the one time when that uh, when your uh, your shirt person, what is it, your merch guy? Remember when he asked me for my shoe size, really to get your shoe size, yeah. and then sent you shoes, yeah, and never sent me shoes. You got me some shoes. That was nice. You're telling the audience about my tenderness. That was one tender moment. Yes, one. And don't get too excited because I just told Ian, like, hey, make this right. Send uh, send you some shoes. And they were counterfeit Nikes we got off Amazon. <laughs> Motherfucker. They weren't even made by the Chinese boys. They were made by like, it was like, a, who, who are lesser, who yeah. are worse at making shoes? What if, what if counterfeit Nikes were made by people in Zurich? <laughs> White guys with spectacles and they make suck, the counterfeit yeah. ones. <laughs> They're just terrible, and the They're guys terrible. are always complaining, like, hey, we have to work here in five hours a day sometimes. <laughs> That's a place that I don't think would be ready for Danny Mullen is Zurich, Switzerland. Hmm. They'd be fucked. Hmm. They'd be fucked. Louis C.K. had a joke about Zurich, Switzerland. He's like, I'm staying in there, and I'm looking at the, the garbage collection system, and there's eight openings for different kind of cups and plates, and... I'm standing there with a dead baby, and I don't know which one to put it in. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That was in his life. What was it, two specials ago? Two specials ago. So, uh, you know, a kid hit me up about going to Canada, and I've that's a short flight, and I've been thinking, but it's it's fucked over there. Listen like, I'm me. scared of Canada now. Justin Trudeau yeah. is a sociopath. Yeah. The only time he showed any humanity in his life, any regular person-ness, is when he did blackface, unfortunately. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It was a, you know, what's funny is I know that he knew he needed to go brown face because Aladdin is, you know, he looks like Rumat, mm -hmm. but he went the extra mile. Uh -huh. He went blackface can just we, to do it. Can we pull up the picture of him doing it? I remember him smiling. Oh, like, like it, he looks like the Joker. He looks like Heath Ledger's Joker when he's smiling. Justin he's fucking... Trudeau blackface. It is bad up there. They're seizing handguns. They're seizing your Bitcoin. They're calling you a Nazi if you have any qualms about how the place is getting governed. Look at that. Oh, Look how my that God, guy dude. <laughs> That's incredible. And he was had his hand around that girl. He he painted his hands black. He's got a, a hand around that girl's neck. You know, you've been fucking, though, dude. He was a ladies man or is a ladies man. I hope I hope that he is. Jordan Peterson said about Justin Trudeau. He's never I've never seen the man say a sincere word. I've watched his speeches closely. Mm. Oh, that's a that's not a bad uh, impression of Jordan. He, I don't know what happened to him, man, but like something the, happens the, to wait, politicians. The, wait, those guys look legitimately Middle Eastern they or Indian be. or something. Why are they signing off on this? Yeah, hey, they like it. They don't they give a fuck. It's funny, I guess. 
<laughs> they probably think it's hilarious, dude. Have you read the book A Thousand and One Nights? Anybody here? That the the, uh, the Arabian Nights? Yeah, it's like no. the famous Middle Sinbad? Eastern piece of ancient literature, and he looks like some sort of devil figure. That would you know, you know how in American folklore the devil meets you at the crossroads and you got to sign away your soul to learn how to play the fiddle. That's him, right? There. Yeah, this guy teaches you how to play the fucking ocarina out in the desert sands when you encounter him at midnight. The ocarina. He uh, what? What do you think he was? Was he Jafar from Aladdin? Like who the fuck is He's he? He's far too dark to be Jafar. He did the hands too. The Leo. hands are that's out of control. That's sick. That is a. <clears throat> That should be a technical blackface foul. There was a Latino. I, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna out him by name like you would, but there was a Latino that might have done blackface. Nice, nice uh, by the way, like well, I would. You well, you would out your friend. You'd be like Johnny Weismuller, uh, did blackface. Yeah, you know, Johnny Weismuller. I do know one, and he did do blackface. That son of a bitch. I was doing it with him, but he <laughs> did it too. So, so my fucking this Latino guy on the baseball team, he was Tiger Woods for uh, for Halloween. And he had a Nike shirt and he literally just kind of put a Sharpie like on blotches all over his face. And he just put a name tag that said Woods and he had a hat on and he was Tiger Woods. So I don't know if it counts as blackface. It was a lazy costume. What kind of hat was it? It was a Nike hat. He's sponsored by Nike. Good product endorsement for them. Mm -hmm. He's Mexican, though. Yeah. So really? Do you get a pass? Mm -mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Some Mexicans do. We were just breaking down. Austin, you know, we'll do it afterwards. I got to give Leo his gift. But can you pull up the pride progress flag? Preferably the one with the Black Lives Matter fist, too. We were breaking it down. The reason I'm talking about this is because there's a stripe on the flag now for for brown people, which is horrendously vague. We'll get to that. But first, Leo, your gift. We got it. We got somebody. Oh, yeah, there is my uh, my parents. They left one of those. They live in. in, uh, Well, I can say where they live. Studio City. And they left one of these flags on their on their uh, mailbox. Your parents left one of these flags on their own mailbox. No, no, no. They, somebody went through the neighborhood and put one of these on every mailbox. You bet your ass Papa well, Julio took it down. No, I thought your dad would be like, oh, this saves me a lot of time because I was headed to CVS to pick one up for myself. Julio just wants good entertainment and he wants the best possible people running the show, uh-huh. which, you know, if, if we really just give all all these people a chance, it's not going to be that. They're not, it's not going to be the best possible outcome for us. Well, we'll talk about this flag in a moment. But Leo, first of all, I got you a gift here. God damn it. Conceal it. And don't mind the price tag that I didn't bother to take off. All is right. that tacky? Four ninety nine. dollars It's heavy. This is a Father's Day gift for your daddy. That was nice. <laughs> you put a little tissue on there. All right. So you gave me the holy... You gave me the Holy Bible. Oh, the open Bible. All right. Well, that's not what else. There's something else in there, too. Is there something inside? No, no. There's something else in the bag. All right. All right. We got a, uh, a dress. Ignore that. I just used that as extra wrapping paper. All right. There's a dress. That's interesting. And we got antifungal powder. Hmm. Then God said to Abraham, mm. <clears throat> you are to undergo circumcision. It will be a sign of the covenant between me and you. Ah, Leo, you might remember last podcast episode, the one that got lost. Mm -hmm. I read you chapter two from the Bible Mm -hmm. about how you are an irredeemable sinner until you get circumcised. Yeah. Yeah, you did. So it's in the Bible. So you proved it. Where can someone tell me why the Catholics allow circumcision or they want no, no circumcision? Why is that? Can anybody tell me that you Christian fucks? I don't, I don't the, know. I don't do Catholicism. Us Catholics are us shit. Roman Catholics. We don't fuck with that, all right? Listen, I'm not done. We bathe. For generations to come, you don't bathe. That's why you have. Read aloud. What is that? This is and, antifungal powder. That's for you, buddy. You son of a bitch. It's for jock itch. I've had jock itch once. I'm sure you have. I was in more college. More than once. I was in college. A lot more I had statistically. seven hour baseball practices. I'm sure your colleagues weren't getting jock itch every other day like you were. I wasn't. Because they were Dang. circumcised. Because they entered into the covenant. Or you guys get chafed dick, and I don't. Listen. You have to take off days. For generations to come, every... Would it be such a tragedy for you to take an off day when it comes to sexting and masturbating? I mean, it wouldn't. I think it would It would probably benefit me. But can I take an off day? That's, that's the question. You're acting like an elite athlete getting some sort of benefit because you can train every day when really what we're talking about is you spanking yourself stupid <laughs> to community college girls 
I take my time. I take my time with it. Every male among you shall be circumcised, Leo. For generations to come, every male among you who's eight days old must be circumcised. Mm -hmm. You look a little older than eight days. Danny, would you let's say that someone said, hey, you should take someone's advice that was born 400 years ago when, you know, they were barely invented anything of importance. This was like you, a few thousand years ago. Exactly. I'm just saying even if a couple hundred years ago. Would you take their well, advice, Do you actually know that this was not written 400 years ago? It was written 2,022 years ago. 22. Well, 2022, right? That's not That's not true either. This is the Old Testament. Yeah, this is, so it's 3, this is the one the Jews like. It's a 3,000. Probably, Probably 4,000. How many thousand? It, they say it could be up to 6,000 years, the original nice writing yeah so the, thousands of years ago some asshole from a thousand years ago when they used to careful live, they used to live till about 30 years old danny you gotta take their advice? not according to the orderly parts of the bible noah was like 900 really yeah they say achilles in the greek um, in greek mythology was like 30 feet tall there's some mm -hmm. some accounts you know that. why those guys lived that long because they, they were circumcised die from a foreskin infection listen when they did, they didn't have plumbing, they didn't have soap, right? They had to find a river that wasn't for drinking water and dive in every now and then. But we all know the deodorants necessary, right? They all smelled like shit back then. They had to put little things in their nose in order to stop the stench. I'm not going to listen to some jerk off that wrote that in the Bible. I, in fact, my bo my boy, the Pope from Argentina, yeah. Pope Francis, mm -hmm. he says that a lot of the stuff in there is it's outdated. You've got to bring it into the new world. That's why he said gays can go to heaven. All right. On the subject of gays, because Leo, I think people would agree if we were going off dress code alone, we suspect you. Mm. We suspect you of maybe being gay. Mm. And that brings me to my next point here. Sodom and Gomorrah. The two <laughs> angels arrived at Sodom in the evening uh. and Lot was sitting in the gateway of the city. Basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skim here, but Lot brings these two beautiful man angels into his abode hmm. and when they take shelter in there this happens <clears throat> before they had gone to bed all the men from every part of the city of sodom both young and old surrounded the house they called to lot where are the men who came to you tonight bring them out to us so that we can have sex with them hmm leo i'm not positive but I have a hunch we could trace your descendants back to that mob of men and demanding to have sex with the angels. They all got smoked, Danny. They all got killed. That's right, isn't it? Yes. I but maintain I say, there was a lone survivor. I will say this. Last though. name to Tavio. If God knows all, when you get up there, the pearly gates, buddy, he's going to know about your double vaginal. And, and he, exactly how many fingers you put in your ass. He will know that. And he will know also if you've ever, if you've ever had some unpure thoughts about a man. So you better be very worried. Very worried. You think I'm the one who harbors impure thoughts towards men? He's going to give me a pass for all of the the men that I've had feelings for because they're very elite athletes and Ryan Gosling. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he's going to be What about like, Jason Momoa? I don't have any feelings for I don't have any We can pull up a video attraction. from Reno, Nevada where I would disagree with that statement. Oh, because oh, when I was drunk. Yes. Oh, I said it was big. I just like that he's a big dude. Like you big. mentioned Jason Momoa's name three or four times in the span of 15 minutes. Did I? Yes. When I was hammered. Yes. Hmm. In a very uh, admiration-coded way. You oh. did. Look, it's nice. You think God's a fan of Jason Momoa? Gosling, I can give maybe. you. Gosling, maybe. I don't think he's a Momoa fan. Momoa so? did that Aquaman movie. Hmm. Aquaman's a little blasphemous, right? Hmm. Yeah, he kind of looks like a Jesus figure. That's I don't in know the much water. about Aquaman to be honest, but Amber Heard was in that movie. I think she's the God. She's like her. And she's the devil. Yeah, I mean, Aquaman. He's down there. He's the god of the sea. It's got vibes of Poseidon. Mm -hmm. If you believe in Poseidon, you're going to hell. So if you yeah. play Aquaman, it follows. You will as well. Well, listen, <clears throat> Aquaman and might go to hell, but. I've never had unpure thoughts about having sex with Aquaman or Ryan Gosling or any of that matter. I mean, look, I, I don't know. I just think Ryan Gosling's an attractive man. Is that do you want do you do you think that that is a crime, Danny? Does that make me gay? It wouldn't make somebody else gay in the abstract, but I believe you're gay because of it. Yeah, when you wore that Aquaman costume and walked through 
in and out yeah that was a homosexual ancient pagan ritual that you were partaking in <laughs> mm, i forgot he dressed up as the man mm -hmm. you might be in trouble here buddy. that's idolism idol worship false god leo leo you're outnumbered here i gotta get the uh you know what dude you guys want to spread rumor, gay rumors about me? People have been saying that for years. You want to spread ass of some little boys? <laughs> oh, wow. He's wow, a pedophile. Dude, you're not, <laughs> not going to say the gays are pedophiles. I, uh, listen, I am very comfortable with my sexuality, and uh, you can call me gay all you want, Danny boy. All right? Gay, 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 gay. Mm hmm. Gay, 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 gay. Why don't we go? Why don't gay. we have a mock trial? Gay, and we'll I'm have not a done. judge I want to do decide more. who's more gay, me or you. Maybe the honorable Judge Mullen. That would be okay. Now that's a video idea. I already know what his conclusion is going to be, so it's not going to be that. Uh, the well, verdict he's going to hand down is going to be a unanimous gay. For you and me, I, th I think he's going to be a little upset. Does he know by your antics? No, he can't know by your antics. Which without antics? A boo, without a boo. Ooh, he probably does. You know, he watches every single video, which leads me to believe he listens to at least some podcasts, yeah. which leads me to believe that he might know that Adam Fu and I shared a vagina. Damn. Well, in that case, I mean, he knows the truth, doesn't he? I don't like where you're going with this. What's the truth? The truth is that you are going to be in the percentage of men that orgasm with another man, just another man at some point. There's a percentage. It's like, uh, I think it's like one of every three straight men. That's what I've read. I read that online years ago. Well, hold up here. Orgasm with another man? Yeah, it's like you will reach climax with a man at some point. Define with. Well, <laughs> well, he's going to be the one that's going to make you climax. That wasn't the case. I know. I know. I'm just saying that. You at think some I'm point, going to wind up being part of that? It's going to be one of those things where you guys are going to be like, you know, you're going to be going at it for a while. And you're going to be like, where's the girl? You know, after a while, fast like, Where's the girl? forward 30 years from now, mm -hmm. Leandro Dottavio is going to be nearly 70. He's going to be as vain as ever, Damn, but sucks. his like looks that. are going to have left him at that point. And whatever mm -hmm. external affirmation he can get, he will take. You're going to be in West Hollywood. <laughs> There's going to be some cross eyed little number who was thrown out into the cold by his own father, and he's going to look to you like a potential father figure. And all it's going to take, Leo, all it's going to take is one compliment of your physical appearance, and you will have your penis buried in a little twink 50 years your junior. When I'm 70, Danny, I will have it all figured out. I will be on a rocking chair reading books, all right? Maybe yeah. vlogging. Yeah. What, what kind of books? How to deal with your newly acquired gayness? a title <laughs> how about the illustrated classics right, be a i need a couple pictures, book, pictures right? every now a picture book huh the illustrated classics so there's huck finn in there and it's yeah. jim and and right. huck going and down the river it's got cool pictures mm. every other page mm. but the gist i get the gist of the actual story they just don't know they don't use the n-word in huck finn because it's, it's for kids mm -hmm. i will be in a rocking chair i will uh probably not they, be doing they any do, substance they do this. use the n-word in huckleberry finn yeah i know a lot it's tom sawyer they might or they probably still, still, yeah, they, yeah. They, I think that's the kid one, and they probably still find a way to fit it in here or there. Mark Twain was uh, a rock star. He was a steamboat captain back in the day. That, that, those were the rock stars of those days. That was the profession you wanted. To get pussy, yeah. Not fighter pilot, not, like you said, musician no, well, in a band. He lived right there on the Mississippi, so like, yeah, you wanted to be one of those guys moving some stuff uh, and people you wanted on to be, the river. You wanted to be looking out for logs and... Um, I don't know, shallow water. Shall in the shallow water would be a problem. So yeah. just looking out for that kind of stuff and redirecting the boat. That was the height of a man's potential. That's the the guy that was going to the parties, having a couple of drinks and saying, yeah, you know, I drive the uh, steamboat over there. So steamboat drivers were the guys that women or excuse me, that men had to keep their wives away from. Yeah, because they knew about the world. They were like uh, the guys that kind of, you know, they, they were Renaissance men. They traveled. They might have seen foreigners, uh -huh. maybe some you Renaissance know. men. Yeah. So the ability to look out for a um, a boulder and then steer slightly to the left, that makes you a man of intellect. Let's well, let me ask you this. Did Mark Twain get more pussy when he was a boatsman versus when he was a world famous author? You know what? I wouldn't know, but it probably uh, when he was a steamboat captain, I'll tell you why, because he was married when he wrote all those books. And I'm pretty sure that. He was a man of values, mm -hmm. and he didn't want to cheat. 
Okay. He probably did cheat. You're going to be, um, he was married later on huh, when he was famous. So you're going to be uh, Samuel Clemens, I believe his, his real name was. And I'm going to be your wife. Okay. Mark Twain's real name was Samuel Clemens? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was, yeah. Samuel All Clemens. Right. And I you're going to be my so. wife? Yeah, yeah. Uh, am I, I'm going to come I'm coming home talking about steamboating? You just finished riding the jumping frog of Calaveras County. That's where we are. So give me a little monologue that asshole right put now. A fucking, they, they put a fucking little, what did they put in him? In his belly so he wouldn't win? It was fucked up. They I put thought, a lead. Yeah. I, you I thought, wrote the story. Why don't you tell us in character? Well, <laughs> honey, I... I've written a book, and I think it's going to be one of my greatest classics. Oh, Samuel, that's fantastic. Mm. What is it about? How are you? It's about this uh, frog, and there's this one man who's a swindler, and the other one is a regular man who found a talented frog, and then one man puts lead inside of that frog, and all of a sudden he's not as athletic, and he loses some kind of bet. It's a great story. Is talent really a word that can be attributed to frogs? Um... You know, I'd say so. I'd say so. I'd like to believe that they have their own consciousness and they are talented, some more than others. Mm. Listen, I'm leaving you. Why is that, honey? Because you can't I, leave I me. found another man. Oh, yeah? Who? He's a Tell good me. man. Who He's is a he? man of intellect. He's a man of the Renaissance. Oh, yeah? Who is this man? I, his name is Chuck Stevenson. Chuck Stevenson? He pilots the boat over on the Mississippi. He what? He pilots the boat on the Mississippi, just like you used to do before you came, became old and cold. Well, um, I can't compete. He moves humans along that treacherous piece of water, mm -hmm. the Mississippi River, and mm -hmm. I am merely a writer now. I'm mm -hmm. an artist. I'm a pussy, some would say. I've read your work. It's it's littered with profanity, well, namely the N-word. Why must you use it so incessantly? Well, if King Croc was here, I would use him to say the N-word right now, but I... Uh, well, basically, I say it all the time because I want people to remember that there was a lot of racist assholes during this time, and it's my job to pass along the word. I'm a storyteller. You read the chapters aloud as you were composing them. Well, it does it, sound good, doesn't it? I believe that some will make a career out of saying that word one day, I'll tell you. It became a... Oh, look who we have here. We're, um... It, it's probably good we got cut off there mm -hmm. because we were about to say, Leo, you know what yes. my favorite part of the week is? What? It's not when I go out getting drunk looking for pussy. It's not? It's not. It's not when I hop on my phone start punching in big asian titties and start pleasuring myself with my hands uh, i would figure that would be your favorite time dude it's when i get home from the gym leo mm -hmm. and i get a big mason jar fill it with ice cubes cold water and mix in a liquid iv look i uh and then i jerk off to asian girls <laughs> if you don't have liquid iv for your uh post drinking blues you're an idiot i personally use it number one before my workout in the morning yep i i've even okay mo, i've gotten a couple of my friends on to just carrying this around snort some right now prove it i'll snort it no actually to be completely honest though me and my friends we kind of just we kind of use it almost like that uh it's like that candy like what, that, those pixie sticks mm-hmm but uh, but it has electrolytes, and as you're drinking throughout the night, every now and then I'll just take this out of my pocket. And, huh? It tastes good. Huh? A little bit. I mean, it's like tangy. Uh, let me re and sour. advocate responsible use of liquid IV. I mean, you're Unlike doing like Leo, who's a degenerate out water, but I like it. Like, it tastes I, great. I get back from jujitsu and I make a tall glass of this stuff because mm -hmm. it makes hydration so much fun, yeah. and it puts back into you the stuff that water can't. You know who else drinks this? Mm -hmm. My dad. I went home to visit my dad this weekend, and he's got a big stash of it in the cupboard. And I was like, yep. hey, dad, you know who's sponsored by Liquid IV? And he was like, uh, Phil Mickelson? And I said, no, your goddamn son. Your son. Your son. Well, then he's he like, should what, know. You just, you just say offensive things on a podcast. And you I was like, that? I consider myself an athlete. I consider myself an athlete of vulgarity, and I need to be hydrated. You are an, an athlete of vulgarity is exactly what <laughs> I need to are. be New hydrated. Twitter bio. You know, after you have sex with your girlfriend that you love, you should start drinking some of these, too. Put, put some in my white claw. Let's do Guys, it. Guys, <laughs> listen, I'm not even fucking kidding with you. Like, if you want to look at the science, like one stick of liquid IV hydration multiplier and 16 ounces of water hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone. It's the best. We're talking about you're going to go to the gym and you want to you want to 
you know, lift a little bit more. You want to run a little faster at softball like I do, do it. But look, I'm not I, I have to I'm trying to be as honest as I possibly can. We're fucking around right here, but I do carry these around, especially on nights that I go out. And I can't I cannot tell you how effective it is with the hangovers. So you guys need to you guys need to pick these up. You really do. Yep. Uh so I, I, I use it for you know, pre workout, but I use it for post drinking and i swear to god i wake up with less depression well, as well. let's let's get a let's get an offer going for these kids because we right. want them to pick up liquid iv we we command it yeah we I, command they pick up some liquid iv using right. our code okay look grab liquid iv in bulk nationwide at costco or you can get 20 25 percent off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code lds at checkout 25 percent. that's 25 percent off anything you order when you use promo code lds at liquidiv.com. Experience better hydration today at liquidiv.com. Promo code LDS. Do it, kids. Do it. Where, <laughs> where's your woman? She's coming. All right. She's here, but she's just walking out. Is she okay? You guys yeah. fight? Do you guys have a fight? No, no. Is this your first fight? Yes. Hey, listen. Damn. Overboard? Have a fight. Oh, your girl's leaving you. For a steamboat captain on the Mississippi. Yeah, man. Steamboat captaining, dude. Those were the men of intellect, the men of sharpness and wit. And they got all the pussy back in the day, man. Steamboat captains. Does he have some good crawfish at least? <sighs> you know, you probably. could probably be a steamboat captain. Thank you. How good's your vision? Great. How good are you at moving a stick? I guess that's their rudder. Mm. Uh, left or right by increments of inches. My precision is that of a brain surgeon. Well, there we go. Dude, he could do it. This guy could do it. (laughs) Well, what would you have done in those years, Danny? When was this? The early 1900s? What would you have done? Instead of a steamboat. Okay, it was the 1800s. Instead of a steamboat, Captain, what the fuck would you have done to get pussy? Mm -hmm. Because the goal of every man, especially of a man that's a writer, writers, for some reason, are pussy hounds. They all want to get pussy. They do. Have you noticed? They get laid a lot. They get laid a lot. And that's part of part of the reason you wanted to do it. Mm-hmm. I know that for a fact because you read Bukowski novels and you're like, this old, ugly motherfucker mm-hmm. got so much pussy. Why can't I get just a little portion of that pussy? I think the move might be at, at that stage in history to be a country lawyer because they would travel around. And you would go as a lawyer to where the work was. And a lot of their cases, overboard humor, were divorce cases. Hmm. So you get in there, you're the professional, you're the guy in the suit, you're the guy using all the big words that the woman doesn't understand, maybe on purpose. Hmm. And then you get to have sex with her. I like that. I like that. Uh, but are you talking shit about steamboat captains, though? You really don't think they got pussy? For sure they got pussy. Can you imagine moving this big fucking machinery down a river and then telling people what to do and yelling and screaming and being powerful. You probably have a uniform. I am the steamboat captain, and indubitably I get lots of pussy, I must say. That is why I'm fucking your woman, Mark Twain. Oh, God damn it, dude. (laughs) There he is. Mark, I am no cock. I am no cock. Chuck Stevenson is here. Chuck Stevenson is Chuck, here. He's here. Chuck. I am Chuck Stevenson, yes. I Listen. challenge you to a battle of wits or a steamboat race. Which oh, well, as choose. a person who owns a steamboat, I would, I'd pick that one, yes. All right, we will, steam, we will have a steamboat race for your heart. You will never win. Oh, is that right? Yes. Because you will start throwing around that cursed word, and the crew will oh, you abandon know you. No, I will. The you crew know will, I will abandon you. Oh, they won't, because there aren't any black people on the. We crew. do not take kindly to hate speech around here. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Alex? This is this wow. is Overboard's woman. Wow. Um, we had her on a couple weeks ago. In uh, a week ago. A week ago. Yeah. And the episode was tragically lost. Yes, but it's okay because, well, I have to say, her outfit has only upgraded. Do you agree? You. I hear there's trouble in paradise. What's going on? Are you, you guys go. disagreeing about the profit share of your OnlyFans? Because <laughs> we can talk about the numbers right now. And if you don't know who Overboard is, why don't I love the way Danny tells the story of Overboard. So I want you to give the fans a little tidbit. Who is Overboard Humor sitting on our couch right well, now? Overboard yeah. Humor, of course. And I'll also fill them in a little bit on what happened last episode. Overboard Humor used to be one of the biggest <laughs> OG YouTube pranksters. 
bring in video views up to 80 million 90. and averaging in the tens of millions, I would Jesus. say low tens of millions, around 10 million. He was making 50 to $100,000 per month. Yeah. He spent that money on a Porsche, coupe, mm. hard top. He doesn't mm. go in for that convertible horse shit. And <laughs> after knocking up his ex-girlfriend mm. and uh, having a couple psychological issues, have a, yeah, sure. The views sure. started. <laughs> I won't. The views did go down, but I think it was because your focus wavered. The content became less consistent. You wanted to take a new direction. You lost your prank viewing audience, which is fine. I'm not saying you that you're a piece of shit for not doing the pranks anymore. But he gave up traditional housing in favor of living by a river. I went to visit him by that river in the fall of 2020. We had a grand old time. He was much soberer. Mm -hmm. and clearer of head than I thought he would be. Yeah. And he's been hanging out with the crew ever since. He's since moved into, again, this was something we covered in depth that last episode, a broom closet. He lives in a broom <laughs> closet. Mm -hmm. and he, Hell yeah. And he first had sex with the woman next to him in that broom closet. Correct. Now, for, sake, for the sake of the fans, there's something we did on the last pod that I think we must do again. <laughs> oh, my God. Review the tape of him having sex with his girlfriend by the river. Yes. And I say that thing is worth a second look. And I haven't <laughs> I have not stopped thinking about this uh, uh, this video since. So why don't we take a look at it? I know it's weird. I get it. I didn't even bring my phone in here. Oh, well, that's a necessity. Well, she she's probably got the video. On do you have it, have fact, it, Alex? Do I what? Do I do you have the video, Alex? I don't. But well, let's let's take a break right here. Austin, do you have the means to play the stand up last night? Can we review that? Yeah, we'll see. I'll see. No, no, oh, yeah. I, I have to check if, if it went. Well, through. let's pause right now while these guys grab their phone because we need to review that footage again. Overboard, you retrieved Yo. your phone, right? Yes, I we're going to watch you have sex by the river again. All right. And it is a treat. I wouldn't mind seeing it a second, third, even fourth time. There's mm -hmm. an RV one, too, if you want to review that tape. Can you send them oh, both yeah. to me? Yeah, send them. I don't know because. I don't know if you will be able to see them because they're on like OnlyFans. Uh, uh, Alex yeah, and, and Overboard, would you guys be upset if I masturbated you having sex? Jesus. Oh, I don't really care. No, I don't care. Mm. You want to go in after the show and rub one out? Into the bathroom? Yeah. That's kind of what OnlyFans is for. Jerking off. I'd be disappointed if you didn't. <laughs> yeah. When did it hit you, Overboard, <laughs> that you were a porn star? So, uh, once I got terminated from YouTube. It hit you. Yeah. That's another thing we covered. Your termination from YouTube yep. because your woman here, Alex, was parading around. She was parading around near nude. She and was YouTube in a thong, like yeah. yeah. In a thong, wedged deep in her ass crack. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube couldn't discern. Something happened, yeah. It's we're going to get to up. that. But first of all, we're going to review King Croc and Nico Villacresis's now, yeah. comedy set. Now, let me just preface this by saying that King Croc, he might have taken a dab. This was last night. <laughs> this was last night. He took a dab with a fan. There were these two fans who basically it was like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. We had two, two of them. Excellent, What's dude? up, dude? Fucking let's go. Who would have known that one of those assholes would become like the third biggest movie star in the world? Yeah. It's Keanu insane. Reeves. Keanu, yeah. Talent be damned. Yeah, it doesn't matter, dude. He's got a presence. Anyway, so he took a dab with a couple of Bill and Ted Excellent Adventure kind of type of guys who were awesome, who came out. Um, this is a, th there was maybe 25 people there. 18 were Danny Mullen and Leon Danny show fans. Uh, they came out for Nico and King Croc and they got their money's worth in my opinion. Now he's high and he had had maybe four or five drinks. He's completely blasted. The last thing I remember like asking him like twice if he was okay. And he was kind of like catatonic. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, well, yeah, I just need food. Then he got some chicken tenders. And then he went on stage, and this is this is the first thing he says. Play. Also, King Croc, I guess he didn't sleep the night before this because right. he was here getting high with these two. <laughs> mm -hmm. with Austin. Then he came and he had to shoot with me for a full day. Are we still recording, Austin? No. Yeah, we are. Fuck it. This is important to the background. Then he shot with me for a full day, doing things including wearing a do-rag in front of the police station, <laughs> uh, pretending he was looting a CVS. Yeah. You know, fun stuff. After that, he came and we actually did a video uh, in an office very near here mm. where we had unsuspecting people off Craigslist come in and sit for a 
um, a product feedback session, I guess you could call it. Mm -hmm. I was posing as the CEO and King Croc was like my puppet CEO because I wanted a black guy to help sell more shit and in this do. social justice centric age we're in. Yeah. It ended with him destroying me with our trusty rubber bat. <laughs> You know, uh, you know, yeah. the rubber bat. Well, good on the stunt bat. And one of the marks, one of the people we brought in fled for his life. Wow. Just ran, which was great because I didn't have to pay him the hundred dollars. <laughs> I was paying them to show up. Oh, that's amazing. It was awesome. Yeah, it was everything we could have asked for. And then he came uh, out to the, the Ha Ha Comedy Club to do a set in front of 25 people that he's, you know, never met. Busy and, dead. Uh, and this is how he started. Started from the beginning again. So we can hear because he just it's funny. Jungle, and I was born. The hippos were jumping in my soups, in, in my in my salad. I chop them up. I'm not even speaking in the mic. Yeah. Use the mic. the mic. I, I told him to use the mic. Yeah. I told him to use the mic. You want to restart and what? That's it's crazy. Use the mic. Yeah, yeah. I told him to use it. Salad. I'm chop them up. He was that fucked up, bro. <laughs> what does this sweatshirt say? Use the baseball. mic. Use the mic. <laughs> I, Big baseball. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, that got a big laugh. Here. Yeah, so you know, <laughs> should be going crazy sometimes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It's real, it's real. And and it's a different kind of program. So funny. You know, like what? Uh, <laughs> he's fucked he's so up. fucked up, dude. Bro, in he's America. Baba would say go to this this America. <laughs> My favorite part. And the fruit and everything like that. Yeah. Um I can say fuck you and your motherfucking pussy. I, I hate you, Bobo Ma. Trump, suck my cup. In my own what village. The fuck? If you say, you look a little like you gained some weight. Pow, pow, why? You go be dead. <laughs> I'm really so lie. confused, bro. So. <laughs> I don't, you guys are. Interesting. It's nice to see civil rights. You know, absolutely. <laughs> <insane. laughs> like, man, fundamentally, we think about it, it's like, wow. Dude. <laughs> dude, he, he's kind of. He just didn't make any sense, but it's still <laughs> entertaining, dude. Capitalism and the black man. <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> what yeah, has strut? Yeah. White society, capitalism, what has it done for the black man? I'd say a, a fair amount. I mean, if you really think about in the last 60 years, I think it's over 100 billion or something. The fastest growing rate of, of growth per decade or whatever, some shit like that. I was like, damn. Yo, he's doing real shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the nobody fuck? knows what he was oh, talking about. Shit. Nobody knows what he was I mean, talking about. I like, that, you know, I like what we've accomplished. He's hammered, yeah, huh? He's I, completely I really, hammered. I want to shout out, shout out somebody in the in the crowd who was outside my car when I came here, and he offered me a dab, and I tell you, <laughs> was you. Oh, Wait, this is the guy. It was me, man. Yeah, this is the guy. Is that dude. the dude? That's the dude. That's Tim Bill and Ted. The long dude. hair and the camo baseball cap. Yeah, bro, look at him. What a scumbag! You guys a fan? You dance oh, like huge fan. Or are you like a little? Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, okay. Press pause real quick. So Nico and I had to go film an intro for our video yesterday, and another fan who looked not dissimilar to that parked his car in the middle of a very busy mid city intersection sprinted at us gave me and nico a bone crushing hug and then started posing for photos while the light turned green and cued a symphony of horns behind his unmanned car <laughs> that's hilarious and we're like dude you're gonna get back in there and do that he's like dude i'm on fucking meth 
Just oh, kidding, just kidding, just God. kidding. No, he was on meth. He was on fucking meth, <laughs> for sure. Wow. For sure. To ghost ride his car, or ghost neutral his car, it's not really a ride if it's parked. It's pretty awesome, man, that our fans are so adamant about meeting us and being cool. I mean, yeah, anytime you guys see us, hit us up. Yeah, man, just, just maybe don't up. give our guys hits of dab before their inaugural comedy show. Yeah, they felt bad. They told me afterward that they felt really bad about that and that uh, they shouldn't have done that. But they thought that King Croc was like a, you know, could have hand, could handle it per se. But nobody can really handle a dab and then be fine. He was also drinking. Danny, there's a certain confidence that a man has when oh. he comes into the room. Leo, when he's groomed, Leo, and it's nicely trimmed. We call it BGE, dude. Big groom energy, baby. Big, and you, that's uh, all you can hope for because you don't have big dick energy like me. Cause you don't have a big dick. Okay, dude. Why do you have to say that? Here's my our impression manscaped. of Leo shaving his private parts. Zzz, done. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of square footage to cover. Would you say? Well, for any cock size out there, Manscaped is going to make it look bigger. But don't go completely shaved because that's going to look a little infantile. Mm, you got to have All a right? little. But Leo, get a little bit of that. Get a little Get a little hair going there, but hair, trim it up. A little, make it nice. Leo, just that perfect level of stubble. Mm -hmm. The confidence is real. Yes. Like, I cannot wait to go home. I'm going to use my Manscaped 4.0 lawnmower mm -hmm. with that little perfect light so I can see where I'm getting at. I've got the heads, the guards, so I don't mm -hmm. get too close. Mm -hmm. So I don't risk anything. I don't want to get nicked. Right. I just, I, it's so easy. I do it in the shower. I get it done. I walk out to my lady and I say, hey, and she goes, ah, because my lady is this this chick. She lives next door. Oh, she, and, she and I do it that, through the uh, window. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. You, got you. you show her your cock, your trimmed cock, though. At least it's trimmed. Yeah. Like Manscaped, they're they're. We'd like to introduce you to their best and biggest ultimate hygiene bundle yet. This Woo! is the. The Platinum Package 4.0. Manscaped is the leader in below-the-waist grooming. And now, trust them with the rest. Join the 4 million men mm -hmm. worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code LDS. Dude, now, the, the premium, the Platinum Package, man. Yeah. The Platinum Package 4.0, it is a parade of fantastic products. The deodorant, guess what I'm wearing right now, Leo? What are you wearing? Manscaped deodorant. All right, so the, the, the Manscaped Platinum Pack 4.0 is the one-stop shop for the man who deserves it all. They designed the so package. not you. Uh, it's not me. Fucking scumbag. You piece of shit. <laughs> designed they have this a, package to allow you to fully align. they have a package align. for a man who deserves nothing? Well, it's, you deserve I, to be thrown if behind If I don't bars. deserve anything, they don't give guys in jail Manscaped, Danny. So I guess. That's right. Yeah, so look, it's designed. This package is, is designed to allow you to fully align your entire hygiene routine with elite products. Yep. All right. Inside the platinum package, you'll find their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, the best. weed whacker, ear and nose hair trimmer, mm -hmm. ultra premium body wash, ultra yep. premium two in one shampoo Use it every day, plus conditioner, ultra premium deodorant, crop preserver. Yep. Anti-chafing ball deodorant, that chapstick, crop baby. reviver, Love that ball chapstick, spray man. toner, anti-chafing boxers, and the shed travel bag to hold your goods yep. while you're traveling, which is important because Danny brings it on the road. We do. Right. You know, Mexico, you know, Texas-Mexico border video? Mm -hmm. Leo, I was out there giving the refugees Manscaped shit. Oh, yeah, I know. You did. You actually did. You gave them a lot of Manscaped. They who, needed it. Who was they that guy? It. Jorge he was like, eh, que pasa? And I was like, hey, dude, you stink. And I threw him the Manscaped deodorant. And right. Balls. And then he showed us his cock and we couldn't see it because the, the, the nope. actual pubes had overtaken his cock. Yep, 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 yep. So we fixed that with the Manscaped <laughs> we, right we then We shaved and his ass and then Border Patrol's like, what are you guys doing? And I was like, just shaving an illegal migrant. And they're like, oh, carry on. Yeah. All right. So now look, get 20% off. And free shipping with the code LDS at manscaped.com. That's 20% yeah. off with free shipping you gotta get it, guys. at manscaped.com and use code LDS. Unlock your big groomed energy with Manscaped. And remember, when you trim the hedges, the tree stands taller. Is that written there? Yeah, that's a pretty good joke. <laughs> that's a pretty good joke. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like their sense oh, of humor. Me too. Okay. Yeah, guys, help us out. Pick up yeah, some Manscaped. Pick up some Manscaped. It's great Make shit. This is their biggest uh, bundle ever, though, and I, I think it's actually a really good deal. So yeah, I use all their stuff. I'm truly. Mm -hmm. I yeah. like how he just gets up there in the ethnic character. Yeah. Like, yeah. what if a Mexican guy just got up there like, hey, I am Enrique. Yeah. Anybody want to buy a tamale? 
And that was his whole act, just being yeah. super Mexican. Yeah. No, no, I know he could he could pull it off, but you can see he's got he's got potential. Even, oh, yeah. even completely hammered. Listen, I he's back got, yeah. I back the king. Don't yeah. get me wrong. No, no, I know, but it's no, dude. Trust me, in person you would have been dying. And then uh, Nico, I got like two minutes of it, dude. We're gonna watch, so it'll be. Fun. We're gonna watch Nico. Nico. So King Croc is more of the laid back philosopher presence on yeah. that stage he's yeah. the patrice o'neill he's the dave Chappelle. yes nico he's a writer he wrote he's the joke smith yeah he's the joke smith so he's i got the, he's the jesse i missed Jim about Gaffigan. a minute yeah J- exactly he, i missed about a minute of his set but here's two minutes you, so you not only did you film inexplicably vertically you well, missed I, half the guy's set there was another guy that was filming for me and he was supposed to send me the footy before this podcast was it the bill and ted guy no it what a it? mystery why the file didn't arrive in time <laughs> that guy probably gave your cameraman a dab those guys want to start a youtube channel of course uh yeah man i would say that i fucked up because yes i had the camera guy doing it and he just i knew the file was too big to like i don't know I, it was gonna be too much work to do between 1 a.m last night when i left and fucking today at noon so leo if that guy handed you the sd card containing the footage mm-hmm would you oh. have the knowledge to get that footage to Austin? Yes. This is just, a quiz. How would it work? You put in, I have one of those SD card readers on the old MacBook. Okay. It's a little attachment. So I plug that in. Doot, put the SD card in. Boop, open it. Go to the file. What I would do, because I'm retarded kind of, is open up my Google Drive, right? And then just drag it in or, t- or drag it out of the SD card onto my desktop. And then put that into the Google Drive. That's like the best it. way to do it, dude. And then you upload it onto Google Drive. What's the woke way to do it? iMessage. It's the same thing, uh, yeah. but Colin Kaepernick is your, is your home screen. <laughs> or um, what WhatsApp. That's that's what the that's what the kids are using these days. WhatsApp. So when Antifa schedules a rally, they do it over WhatsApp. Apparently, it's a good file sharing software. I never got WhatsApp. Continue though. Let's watch Nico do some stand up. This here. is Nico. Easily. They just turn on Animal Planet. <laughs> he said, okay, that joke, he was like, how does the Taliban jerk off? And he goes, easy. They just turn on the Animal Planet. <laughs> dude, it was, dude, it was good. It was good. It's a funny joke, yeah. but the Taliban was last relevant in 06. Exactly, dude. It just, Nico said it with so much confidence. Dude. He was kind of great, dude. I, like, didn't the Taliban just take over like all of Afghanistan hey, or true. something? that's true. You're yeah, right. They're I back. forgot about that. They're I, back. I forgot about that. I will say there's probably a 0% chance that Nico wrote that joke. Yeah, true. Now go all the way back to the beginning because he has another punchline here that's pretty funny. Go for it. So all right. They just turn on Animal Planet. Because <laughs> they're goat fuckers. You know, anybody here a fan of socialism? You know, Bernie Sanders. Oh, his impression. Oh. Dude, yeah. Hey, wait until I say this. Ready? I, I hate socialism, but we should bring it into the bars. It's unfair for the top 1% of men to take all 99% of pussy inside the bars. <laughs> You gotta redistribute the pussy. This is a good joke. We <laughs> <laughs> got a big laugh, bro. He did good, dude. He's doing good, dude. He did really good, dude. Look, you got a fucking big like a little ovation. My last break. Joke yeah. Is, uh... <laughs> Nobody says that, sir. He was up there for two and a half minutes, dude. My last joke is to anybody who is not from California. The, Rodeo uh... Drive. Easy way to tell the difference between a seal and a sea lion. Oh, this one. Yeah. Sea lion goes, ooh, ooh, ooh. And a seal goes, there's a pretty rose on the flower. <laughs> Whatever the other words are, but that's that fucking good. it. Go oh, actually, up. I got one more for all you Danny Mullen fans Keep out singing. there. Yeah. Uh, Keep singing. Keep singing. How many Leos does it take to replace a light bulb? None, because he likes his parking lots dark. <laughs> Dude, Nico kind of murdered, and he was so drunk and high, he threw up right after this. I told him my advice was walk out on stage with a tall glass of beer and chug it. Yeah. Because nothing you do will get a better reaction than, than that. that. No yeah. joke you tell yeah. will get a bigger rise out of the crowd than you just smashing yeah. a big Sam Adams. Oh, yeah. Did he do it? 
No, he didn't. He was drinking a lot before, enough to throw up, Danny. He threw up in the bathroom he right after. He doesn't seem that nervous. He doesn't he seem wasn't, that no, He was like shaking, and then he went up there and relaxed. It was crazy. Yeah, I <laughs> swear, Nico, not only, you know how we look at Nico sometimes, we just start laughing? Yeah. He has that factor about him where people just laugh yeah. at anything he does. Mm. He does have a lot of talent for stand-up. I actually will say that, and I'm not even joking. Both him and King Croc could do it they got potential yeah now all nico did was kind of was like st- like practice like two or three jokes and then do it and then they all honestly he probably did better than a couple of the comics that night no joke yeah how are these comics doing they managed to draw collectively five of their own audience <laughs> members yeah dude it was all nico and king croc people and yeah. leo people yeah every time bro i i, I mean most of the time i i mean i, I put dude, I'm, I'm a draw at the haha but um Nobody can bring in people because, dude, nobody does. They just don't understand that they have to do the online game now, and they're just not going to grow unless they do that. I mean, even guys like Dalia, he said he got big on Vine, you know, and he was telling all the comedians, like, you guys aren't posting anything online. He's like, this is how I'm going to get people to come to my shows. Mm -hmm. And it worked out for him. People, let's define people in Dalia's eyes. 19-year-old girls. Wow. He went to the right platform, that Vine. He did. 19-year-old girls. and genius. He doesn't really care about them being at the show's unless that leads to them later on being in his hotel room yeah exactly he's There's getting married side of our door it's weird what does he uh, look like he's he's black he's got a um is it king croc uh, no it's not unfortunately he looked very slender it's a that's not king croc. <laughs> it's not king but should we invite him in yeah probably no 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 austin don't be prejudiced i don't want yet. anyone to know what's in here you well, know what i'm saying we got the sketchy, oh, sketchy there's two, people. There's two of them. They're now. definitely contractors. They're definitely... Imp- They're builders. Uh, the, yeah. the scariest person I've seen, maybe in my whole life, I ran into yesterday, of course here, mm-hmm. because this parking lot... Overboard, I don't mean to be insulting here. It's yes. infested with homeless people. But they're weird ones. Dude, Leo, I yeah. saw a guy yesterday who hadn't clipped his nails, it looked like, since Y2K. Was it a guy? No, no, he was white. Huh. He had nails out to here that were not flat nails. They were claws. Mm. He looked like he was about to transition into a werewolf. <laughs> he was missing his left eye. Come on. Did he have the courtesy to wear an eye patch? No. Yeah. Had an ophthalmologist. Op, uh, did I say the right thing for an eye doctor? Ophthalmologist. I think it's an op. Yeah, an optom- optometrist. Uh, optometrist. Yeah. No. 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 It's uh. It's not an ophthalmologist. It's a optometrist. Opt- optometrist. Yeah, that's right. Optometry. Yeah, it's probably not. Optimo- it's optom- ophthalmologist oh. is somebody who looks after your eyes and pussy. Maybe <laughs> an optometrist did not have the courtesy of giving this guy a glass eye either. He had an open hole into his fucking brain leo come on and it was light out so i could how, see into that could, hole. how deep was it could you fuck it you think like how deep did it oh, go back it went dude it i almost threw up immediately it looked what? like he had smallpox too i think i saw him downstairs today too he might even be there right now uh, this guy Let's get him on the pod dude. no he can't come in here he can't come <laughs> in here i'll never come in the building again he has this horrible skin disease all over his body and you'll see him like sitting on the ground scratching his feet and there'll be like a small pile of dust just like forming around that's where his not foot real is. and then when he gets up and walks away there's an outline of his foot oh! and toe from all this weird foot dust he's scratching he's off of his body. Angels. What should we do about him? I mean, look, I think that that's a guy, if we wanted to take him out, you know, see what, what it's like to kill someone, that could be the guy, Danny. <laughs> what? I don't Just think anybody would like. dark See place if that right makes now. you come. You know what I mean? You never know. Why are you putting this on me? Well, well like you're Leo, a more... Leo I think you just contemplates sleep. the idea of taking a life, and then he throws it at me. Danny, There's- I'm not going to lie. If I killed someone, I'd call you because I think you'd give me some advice that would help me get through it Listen. from all your little books you'd be like you'd say something like well leo let me tell you something a lot there's a book marcus aurelius he says chapter 17 <laughs> yeah, don't kill bums in the street <laughs> he says if you kill a bum in the street you might feel more alive a man that can take a life is a man that will live a long life okay well at least you're owning up to you being the one who wanted to do this here actually i guess you're you're shucking it off on marcus <clears throat> aurelius well, like do you think anybody okay all i'm saying is if you did if somebody smoked that guy you think anybody's gonna you know be like ask about him i think if god um called that man home mm. that man would probably be happy with that yeah i know and i'm joking about killing bombs i don't know if i have to say, can we even say that on youtube I cut that. <laughs> uh, yeah, you did say you wanted to kill a bum. I wanted, and then, <laughs> yeah, and then you I you did. very 
very adroitly tried to shuck it off on me. Can I do an impression of you? Yeah. You know, I'm really thinking of um, smothering my mother and father uh -huh. in order to collect their life insurance. Uh -huh. Danny, how would you go about smothering your mother and father? Because you definitely want to do that. What? That's how it went right there. I know. There. That was... I mean... I don't think you'd be the right guy to call. Uh, yeah, you might. You know what? You're not the wrong guy to call if some shit goes down. You might be like, we have to crush both of our phones now. Meet me in my house. And I'd come over and I'd put our bag, our fucking phones in a bag. You'd mm -hmm. crush them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Danny would turn your ass in, bro. Maybe. He'd be like, Maybe. oh, well, now I'm an accomplice. Sorry, Leo. Mm -hmm. Got to turn you in. I know the law. Aiding and abetting. Serious, man. I know. I can't is. be involved in this. And you would never voluntarily crush your phone. You're right. You, like, you know well, what? I have to Pull out your phone right now. I want to see how many hours you've spent on Instagram this week. The Honorable Judge Mullen might be able to help you out, though. The Honorable Judge Mullen he would, be would very... make you get circumcised before you could use his services. <laughs> that is not... It's not okay. true. How do you go to, how do you go to let's, fucking... Oh, let's compare. Well, yours is going to be way less, dude. Let's do this Obviously. right now. This is embarrassing. I want to see how many hours how you you're get, on Instagram. It's, uh, it's, it's, oh, yeah. It's, it has its own little... It's, yeah. You go click up on the bars at the top, and then you go to your activity. Time spent. It's easy. You're intentionally ducking out of it. No, no, no. Your activity? We're... Let me see this. In yeah. settings? No, you go on You go on Instagram, you dummy. Oh, I, oh. Look at this. Instagram, Okay. And it's going to say this week, dude? dude oh, God, what are you doing? Very good. If, okay, there. You are, and you go to your You're activity. the Muhammad Ali of Instagram normally, but suddenly oh, you become a... Oh! Daily. Oh! Daily we average. have Leo Dottavio with a daily average of two hours and ten minutes on Instagram. Now, I'm going to be honest. Of the two hours and ten minutes a day, maybe 15... Dino? Maybe 15 to 20 minutes are spent DMing people... To be on this podcast. That's how I got overboard here and his lovely girlfriend. Yeah, there it is, dude. Don't give anybody any information away. These, oh, these guys will, these two guys hours will and ten fuck minutes. me in the ass. Leah, bro. what happened on Wednesday that you insisted on spending so much time on Instagram? Um What happened? I don't know, dude. I was probably depressed, dude, mm -hmm. if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. I think me and uh I probably I don't know, man. I probably I only spent an hour on Thursday. That's good. You would not like the amount of time I spent on RuneScape. <laughs> it's like a year. A year lifetime. How much average per week, though? I, I barely play anymore, but I used to play like 10 hours a day. Nice. <laughs> like yeah. back in I high school. I think I know what dude. it is. Ooh, look at that. Day, average daily 14 minutes. Just enough to see a couple of big titties and you know, right I, off. I had a week patch at some point this weekend, it looks like. Why was I on there for Saturday so much? Yeah, what's wrong with you? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I apologize. I'll, I'll say this. I think I think I know what it was. I think I I stumbled upon the uh, I think it was the UC San Diego Alpha Phi Instagram, and I, I that just... occupied fourteen hours of your time. Yeah, Leo. <laughs> would you I had, rather? I had a DM uh, so many girls something very very specific to their instagram to give me the best opportunity for a response what did you dm to how many girls i would dm i would find a picture of theirs i would send it to them and then comment on it uh, in the dm in, yeah this is to all the girls in the alpha fee at san diego state <laughs> yeah dude yeah can i please see I'm, I'm joking i'm joking but you know I, I mean it's not like i haven't done that before <laughs> did you actually find the alpha fee at san diego and no, message them this I weekend i didn't who were you dming primarily this week Dude, it could be any, it could be anyone. If I'm being honest, it could anyone, be, it could not be necessarily anyone. a woman, not necessarily a woman. There could be. There's. I respond to fans a lot. I respond. Uh, I I I talk to girls on there. I talk to stranger girls on there. I, uh, you know, Just sending a picture of your penis isn't talking to. You're right, especially when there's no conversation preceding it. You're right. This you know. Oh, up. oh. Uh, I was I was supposed to bring this up. <laughs> Talking about unsolicited what? dick pics. Um, I was supposed to bring this up on the pod, but uh, fan Josh. He reached what did out he to me. He reached what out did to he me. Do? He reached out to me and he goes, Hey, if I send you an unsolicited dick pic, will you talk about it on the pod? And I was like, Well, you kind of asked if I could you could send me a dick share. It's not gonna be unsolicited. I was like, You should send it to Nico. <laughs> he sent it to Nico. <laughs> he just sent his dick to Nico and uh hard. 
Yes. And no, like, yes, yeah, semi ish hard. And Nico responded semi. with a Jesus. That was it. Didn't go any further than that with Nico. Unfortunately, huh? no. Nico just said Jesus. Yeah, that's it. But I just love that Nico just gets a dick pic from one of our fans randomly out of nowhere. He's going to get a lot more now. You know, thank oh, yeah. Josh. Honestly, me. yeah. If you guys want to send pictures of your dick to Nico, <laughs> feel free. I don't think that there's a problem with that, Danny. You know, what do you think? Our next uh, podcast advertiser is something that I use on the daily. It's Athletic uh, Greens. Uh, oh, okay. I, I thought you were going to say a pubic lice shampoo. Oh, well, yeah, I do. I do have pubic lice, and I didn't need to say that on the pod, but thank you. It is one of those things that... I give Danny a list of things he shouldn't say on the pod, and pubic lice was one of them. Yep. But what's helping me with the amount of blood that this lice, these lice, or I don't even know how to, how do you say more than one lice? Li- lice? Louse. The point Louse. is, Athletic Greens changed yours and my life. It did, because I am an unhealthy piece of shit. I eat pizza all the time. I'm drinking. I'm smoking. Mm-hmm. Athletic Greens gives me the ability to... Put the vitamins and the minerals that I need to flourish mm-hmm. and for gut health, yep. for my skin health. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I know that my diet alone is not going to do that for me. Danny. Oh, it's, it's great. It's like your get out of jail yeah. free card. It is. You binge all weekend. Mm-hmm. But as long as you're hitting your morning glass of athletic greens, a little bit of cold water, mm-hmm. dump in a scoop of athletic greens, mm-hmm. mix it up. You're getting out good. Yep. You're fine. Yep. It's be- it's good for gut health, more energy, optimized immune system, which is big now because I don't yep. want to get COVID for the third fucking time. Absolutely. Not I've on Athletic Greens' watch. Yeah, Not exactly. on Athletic Greens' watch. Yes. I hated taking like the, the normal pills and vitamins that, that my body really didn't like. It doesn't absorb as well as a powder. All right. So uh, I wanted to supplement this with something that actually works, and it's it, it also tastes great. Oh, it's it's amazing. It's a part of my morning routine. You get the yeah. athletic greens, mix it with that cool water. Leo, Yeah, I'm ready to take on the world. The kids I face at jujitsu, and I yeah. do mean kids because I go to the kids' class after I take athletic greens. Really? They don't stand a chance. Can you say mount choke? Oh, hell yeah. They can't because they're Fuck unconscious. Those. Fuck those, those kids. kids are unconscious after I get my athletic greens. <laughs> athletic greens. <laughs> Hell yeah. I've been regular as as fuck recently because of my athletic greens. It's got 75 high quality vitamins, uh, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics and adaptogens, adaptogens, which I don't know what I actually don't know what that means. Yeah, you're a big dumb. (laughs) But I believe they adapt to your gins. But no, either way. (laughs) I hate you. I do. I do take I, I do take athletic greens after my coffee. Every single day, though, and I think that that's something you guys should too. It's the best. I mean, Joe Rogan does it too. I mean, it's that guy's fucking healthy it's, as shit. It's delicious. You it feel delicious, like a beast yeah. when you're on it. You can get two more reps in on the pull up bar, mm-hmm. three more pumps in on your girlfriends. Easily Mom. three more pumps in on your girlfriends. Mom. Athletic Greens has over 7,000 five star reviews. You think everybody's going to be wrong? You think you're that much smarter than the fucking average hey, person? You're the not. Wis- the wisdom of crowds. Yes. That's what markets, free markets are built on. So they right, know. They know. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. Mm -hmm. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. Just one scoop. Now, to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. First purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com mm-hmm. slash LDS. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash LDS to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. It, uh, disclaimer, it will not cure pubic lice. Sorry, It's Leo. not going to, no. Those little bastards are really painful. Fan Josh was kissing me when we were in what? Texas. You remember when he planted one on me? I, you know, I, I don't want to bring this up because it's kind of ridiculous, but yes, every time we, I mean, sometimes when we meet a fan, there is a little bit of an inkling that they might be sexually attracted to us, mm-hmm. which is, there's nothing wrong with it. You know what I mean? If I met Jeter, I'm sure he'd feel that way. I'm sure he'd be like, you, you're sure that he would feel that way about you. He might think that, you know, I would want to watch him have sex with Hannah Jeter. Pull up Hannah Jeter okay, for and me. And again, I, I am the one you're predicting to have an encounter with a man. Pull up Hannah you. Jeter. You don't do with J, 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 E, T, T, R. That's how we. Austin, big Yankees fan. J, E, T, E, R. Yeah, J, E, T, E, R. It worked anyway. Yeah, but look. look this at is his wife Hannah, or daughter? This is his wife, dude. What is wrong with you? His daughter's like three. Look at his, his wife. This buddy. chick looks like she could be his daughter. She's not old. She that's for sure. She's not old, but look at Fake her. Fake tits. 
Yeah, probably. Or real. Who knows? Let me see. She landed she fucking Jeter, Jeter dude. huh? Yeah, dude. But anyway, I dude. Can you imagine? Can I imagine what? Them banging? Would you watch? I'm sure you would love to see that happen, Leo. Well, would you love to see Tom Brady banging, you little fucking? Of course, yeah. That's I would love right. to see any professional athlete bang anybody. And, Le dude, Leo, there is some fucking gossip right now that I really, really want to spill. Because Please. It's, it's about a professional athlete. <gasps> One could even call him an enemy of this podcast. <gasps> being a little unfaithful to his woman. No. I'm not going to say any names. Wow. But a certain athlete who... Him and I have had some encounters in Mr. Chow's Chinese restaurant. Oh, We've had some encounters oh. in the trenches in various NFL scrimmages. Wow. Well, that guy might have been trying to have sex with a woman. That you know. Yes. <laughs> Damn, how does she do it? Let's not mention <laughs> yeah, any names here. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's a catch for her. A she should do catch. it. I want to know about his penis, don't you? Yeah, this guy is uh, newly minted a contract, and he uh, you could say he had a successful year last year in his sport. Mm -hmm. And, you know, family life be damned in his eyes, I guess. Danny, look, when you win the ship and uh, you go, what else is there now? And you go, well, there's always 19-year-old pussy. That never goes, it never goes sour. It never becomes something that you don't want. My acting teacher said, this is very, I've never said this on the pod, I don't think, I think I told you, but we were having drinks after class. How old are you, by the way, Alex? 21. Nice. Okay, so my acting teacher, he's 67. And he, uh, he looked me in the eyes and he says, there's this girl, Allie, she was 21 in class. He goes, yeah, you know Allie in class? I go, yeah, yeah, I, I do. He goes, I might be 67 but I'd still put my tongue right up her ass. Well, I hope Allie feels safe. <laughs> <laughs> Going no in there and doing scenes in front of this lecherous, senile old fool. Uh, well, you know, yeah, she's not no longer in the class. I wonder why. Uh, yeah, probably two reasons. Leo Dottavio. Oh, come on. <laughs> I've, uh, okay, through Did the you years, hit on her? Through the years, I'm going to think. I, I've hooked up with... Two, three, four girls that were in that class. Oh my God! They are still not. Not all of them are in the class. There's two of them in the class that now. are still there mm -hmm. that you hooked up with. Yeah. How far did you go with them, dude? I uh, I busted a, a fat nut down one of their throats. Who's still in it? Yeah, and the other one gave me a hand job. Not that big a deal. Does the teacher know you do this kind of oh, stuff? Yeah. Oh yeah. He doesn't he, mind. He gets a scene. He'll put me, dude, he's the best, okay, he's the best, one of the best wingmen of all time. Me and Ruman talk about it all the time. He'll put you with a scene with, like, the, a hot new girl and then be like, all right, Stacy, um, you have your wants and your needs as a woman, right? She'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I do. And he'll be like, do you find Leandro ad attractive? And look at him. He puts him to that question. Yeah, because he's trying to teach you how to get it. And then if they go and then very rarely do they say no, they've never said no. But sometimes they'll be like, mm, not not really. Some girls will say not really about someone. Right. Yes. And he goes, well, you have to find something that you're attracted to and kind of focus on that. And it's easy for a guy like, oh, whatever. She's got decent tits. I'll focus on that. So the, the point is, you have to try to fool your body into thinking you're attracted to that person for uh -huh. a moment uh -huh. so that you can open the scene with some truth uh -huh. and it could seem like you guys might have some chemistry and you're together uh -huh. so it's, it's, it's like he's, it's he's teaching you. acting you're just like hmm she has a mouth exactly i go she has a mouth and all her teeth or even if she doesn't have all her Done teeth deal. now it's easier uh, for you if she doesn't have yeah, teeth. yeah so he'll do that and then and then you'll uh you'll have a scene where you're like married, right? And then you have to like talk romantically or and or like have a fight, a fight scene, like where you're verbally in a verbal altercation with a girl always ends up in like a nice emotional kind of connection uh -huh. for at least for a moment afterward. And then we always have drinks after class. So, uh -huh. you know, if you're going to bang a chick, you can. And, you know, I it, eventually, you know, I have to grow. I'm 35 now. I'm not as like <laughs> when I was like, I think I started his class when I was like 27. So, you know, I was more of a, of a shyster, but now I've been what slowing down with that. Is that uh, a solid eight years of what sounds like grooming class? Grooming? Grooming, that implies a younger girl. Oh, well, yeah, exactly. This, this, this isn't fucking, this, this isn't fucking what James Franco do. We're not doing sex scene study mm -hmm. 101. Mm-hmm. It seems like you're less interested in the acting and more interested in the 67-year-old the, the man underhand pitching you easy pussy. 
Well, he... I look up to him, and he did well for himself. He married a woman about 20 years younger than him. Mm -hmm. She's 47. Mm -hmm. She makes a lot of money. Mm -hmm. They got beautiful kids. Mm -hmm. And he's uh, kind of a ladies' man. Still looking to stick his tongue up girls' asses. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's nice. It's nice to, you know, and he has uh, interesting thoughts about, you know, life in, in general and how to... Ben, you know, like really, uh, well, he he loves pussy, but he's also an educated man, and he he loves to read. He's a reader, and uh, you know, I kind of like a well-rounded man. At least he understands my side of the world. Mm -hmm. Pussy, uh, two hours a day on Instagram side of the world, pussy. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the, and he also understands that, like, at some point, you have to reach a kind of higher level of thinking because you have to kind of uh, broaden your horizons. Mm -hmm. Or your brain will get poisoned by mm -hmm. the drug that is pussy, mm -hmm. which is what's happening to mine. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how to get out of it. That brings us over to Overboard. We got to right. talk about their love life. Dino, can you please tell us how many hours a day you spend on Instagram, though? Yeah, just to see. Or you, Overboard. Austin, you might as well check it out, too. Yeah, you, Overboard, too. You go to the three little things. The three bars in the top right. And you go Either on the home screen or your profile. Then you go to your activity. 44 minutes. 44 minutes. Much better than 53. me. 53. 53. Dino? My phone's a piece of shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's funner than access Instagram. Dino's got the Even Obama the phone, so it's taken a little while. Does he actually have an Obama it's phone? It's a legit Obama phone. I used to sell, like, I used to work for Obama phone and give out those lifeline, safe, safe link wireless cell phones. Dino? Hour 41? Oh, two. But it was really because that one outlier day, so it doesn't count. No, it was very evenly distributed, you fucking liar. <laughs> Dino, why are you on Instagram so much? What are you doing on there? It keeps recommending It keeps Korean recommending you what? Korean bitches. Korean <laughs> bitches. Well, that's good. Dude, Dino same. is a horny. Dino's, I think Dino's going to be hornier than Austin. Yeah, Dino, growing up. What, what happened to all this god shit you talk about? He's getting horny. You're dude. jerking off to Korean girls all the time. I think that's why he's letting himself go in reality is because the digital Koreans. Mm -hmm. North Koreans. The probably. last girl he had any rapport with was Herpes Chick when she stared directly into his asshole. I know. We have to bring her back on the pod. That's great. <laughs> Maybe we could do an OnlyFans. We could find her another herpes-ridden soul. Dino yeah, did fun. just film a video with Swolby and Croc, like, pussy chasing in Santa Monica the other day. And apparently, cool. Dino was doing pretty good. Dude, I, I, dude, there was girls that swipe up on my story all the time and say Dino's hot whenever I put them on. Literally, Dino looking like as close to as someone that is in a Jewish concentration camp, you know? If we gouged out one of your eyeballs, you'd be indistinguishable from that guy downstairs. God, you trim your fingernails That's for your nothing. own sake. I hope that you're not stuck in the wilderness where you can't get food for a couple of days. I mean, I don't. I presume you're just within your last meal at all times. Like if you don't find something to eat in the next three hours, you might die. I find bugs, dude. I find bugs. The uh, we need to get Dino a microphone. That needs yeah. to happen too at some point. Overboard. Yes, sir. So you're having sex with this woman next to you. Not currently, but often. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, you, um, now, how do you come up with the video ideas? I really don't. Sex is natural. Okay. Happens. Let's watch another one. We already watched you and people. It's, Just it's, describe it. Danny. It's really a shame. I mean, he bent her over. Yeah. Standing upright. Right. Join the overboard fans. He just bent her over next to the creek that him and I slept next to. Yes. In the documentary I did on him. Mm. Just fucks her next to the creek. The mm. sun is out. It's there was scenic. probably no there was definitely a jogger who saw what was going on mm -hmm. and he after, after coming on her ass cheeks grabs like a handful of leaves oh, and wipes shit. it off it's incredible <laughs> and god damn it is it worth the price of his only fans i'm not even saying that just to blow i mean go to overboard humor on twitter yeah overboard fans overboard, fans. overboard humor let me see a different video so leo and i can react to it i would love right, it I'll not the creek video now i'll sorry, sorry the tell RV. Me your name one more time what your name one more time alex alex good to meet you um you're from a small town in in new york i am yes has everybody found out about what you're doing pretty much i met yeah. her parents yesterday yeah. did you oh, actually oh my Father's god day. oh my god <laughs> hey are they out here i'm overboard yeah, i fucked your daughter next to a river <laughs> <laughs> Does okay, so wait, he you they're out here visiting? They're in they're, they live here in Huntington. Did you guys um oh. did you guys have a little get together at Overboard's place? No, he came to my parents' house. Mm, where are they staying? Airbnb? 
They're well, they live there, so they in Huntington moved, Beach. They moved here, and I moved with them. Wow. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. So you you were living with them, and now you're living with Mr. Overboard. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, I've been at your place. For Talk a right, Alex, right into that microphone. I've been at his place for like a month. Gotcha. So it, your parent, you didn't think on Father's Day to bring your dad and mom over and like he could make you guys breakfast of <laughs> of uh, of possum stew. <laughs> That's my catch, favorite dish. Catch you some uh, fresh trout out of the stream. Maybe uh, maybe dry out some mountain lion, some cougar shit, cougar chips. Right? You can eat those. Yeah, we could. What are you pulling up over there, overboard? Um, I'm Give fantasizing about my favorite dishes. Still, Give stop us something good. Stop that. Let's see a video. <laughs> so, uh, are you worried about what people think about your your choices? Um, how do you mentally? kind of get past what society thinks and all of that because you're young and i want to know how you're making this decision leah we might yeah. have to answer that question in a moment because all right, oh wow there's some good cinematography i'm about to alex, watch you alex enters the rv it's shot from two separate camera angles overboards holding a a uh, an hatchet. axe a hatchet yeah a tomahawk okay now we've cut she's magically wound up in a different part of the rv that artistically was not great I like the activity okay because she's feeling the inside Whoa. of his thigh oh now she's sucking his cock that oh, was a, that that was was a crazy cut. cut there huh yeah overboard's penis is fully erect getting stroked right now i haven't even watched this yeah you're jerking a guy off in it this is, spoiler um, this is wild spoiler. <laughs> what does she what does he have tattooed all over his leg what? oh he would do that on stream he would tattoo people's names yeah, for 20 bucks, you can get your name bucks. tattooed on Overboard, Danny. You There's a little farm of random fans' names on his right thigh. Oh, and his left thigh, too. It looks like shit, Overboard. It really does not look good. I kind of like his tattoos, to be honest. They're kind of like, uh, they remind me of like... Can you show it again, Overboard, on the action cam? How much was it? Tattoos. 50 bucks. When, uh, Alex, when your parents asked Overboard what he does for a living, did he just pull up his shorts and point? <laughs> I don't even think they asked. Okay, Did wow, they? that is... I guess his other answer would have been, I fuck your daughter. <laughs> yeah, he would have. What? I would have? Yeah. All right, now listen, I... This is... It's, it's a very sensual hand job. It shot well, I guess. Um, he's feeling her tits a lot. <laughs> you like that overboard. You like her breasts. Yeah, I mean... Wow, this is... <laughs> All right, well, they're right there. This is pretty awkward, I'd say, but... She is good at what she does. I'll tell you that. You much. let her suck your dick, Leo. I mean, not no, not because because overboards with her. Overboard, I respect your, overboard. I could do it pretty good. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Just kidding. To Careful. overboard, Leo's gonna Leo's gonna. Okay, here we got an insertion shot. You got a nice cock overboard. It looks good on camera. Whoa. All right, there we go. He just put it in her vagina. He's having sex with her from behind. It's doggy style. It's doggy style in the RV. Haven't you heard of the Gluck Gluck? No. Yeah, the, you haven't the, heard the Gluck Gluck 3000? Tell them what the Gluck Gluck, tell them what the Gluck, Gluck 3000 is. But, well, there's, there's certain ones. There's Gluck Gluck 3000, and then there's Gluck Gluck 9000. You got, like, the hand twist in there. Gotcha. Who pioneered this technique? It's a, That's from the Call Her Daddy. Yeah, the uh, Call Her Daddy uh, yeah. uh, no, I podcast. Listen, I listen to that religiously, of course. <laughs> okay, so uh, he Overboard is grabbing a dangling titty, and he zoomed in on it as he grabbed it. He's really focusing on what the titties look like when he plays with them. Now, here we go. Different camera angle. He's that hitting is, it. He's this, really giving it to her, guys. This is your RV overboard. Oh, uh, yeah. You live on this thing. Sometimes. This looks a lot better than the tent. Well, yeah. I mean, tent. Uh, nothing beats the tent, honestly. Is that the same, like, RV from all the Ice Poseidon streams? Like, is it that one? It's the same RV that Andy Dick got arrested in a couple weeks ago. For fingering uh, a guy's unconscious asshole. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Was it you who was fingered? <laughs> you got to join Overboard fans to find out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no, no. What do you wasn't. think about this, Leo? So we, this is just, this is XXX porn. Have you guys done anal on here at all? No. Not yet. I uh, Well, well, what? I I came on her asshole like last, yesterday. On doesn't pay the bills. In is what's going to take you to the next level. Yeah. How do you guys know that there's a really there's a crazy bond when you do have sex and put it put it on the internet? It kind of bonds you for life. Have you heard about this? I haven't heard, but I can feel but, it. Yeah, I haven't heard yeah. about it, but I feel it inside yeah. me. They call mm. it they call it the old digital d destiny 
dance. Mm -hmm. It's a digital <laughs> the destiny old, dance. The old digital destiny dance. Yeah. Have you guys thought about this? And this might turn into something more serious than you bargained for. It could, yeah. Now, your mother and your father, who live in Huntington and are well-to-do, they know that you're having sex with a form, former homeless man. Pretty He's, much. And they are okay with it. I guess so. You guess so, but you don't really... Is it one of those things like don't ask, don't tell, like you don't bring it up and they don't bring it up? They have brought it up. Okay, and they... how? How? I need to know, like, how did they say it? <laughs> well... Okay, so in my hometown, everyone was talking about it, mm -hmm. and my brother told my parents, and okay. they were like, oh, so you do OnlyFans now, and I was like, yeah. But when much. they said you do OnlyFans, did they know that that means not just nude pictures, but um, full-fledged porn? I guess so, yeah. You get fucked by the creek. Pretty much. Alex, talk to the phone. Are they, are they worried now? Because whenever you and your parents are in the car and you drive by a homeless guy pushing a shopping cart, <laughs> they got to worry that just like, hey, one bottle of shampoo and that guy might be fucking my daughter. Yeah. Is that is that a concern with it, your folks? It might be. I don't know. Now, do you think your father is kind of repressing how he feels about it? Do you think one day at Thanksgiving dinner he might just be like, God damn it, he's a fucking bomb. He's a fucking homeless guy. Can you fucking cut the shit? Break up with him already. He's homeless. You're embarrassing everybody. Your grandma was had a fucking heart attack. What the fuck? She saw your video. Marty, sit down. Sit down. This God, is the way yeah, to I'm out of here. I'm going to go to the garage. Damn in love. Damn shut it, up. Damn love. Joanne, shut the fuck up. Oh, shut the fuck up. I approve. I'm back, over this. Back in the 60s, I actually took a man who was without <laughs> home in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Overboard. Yeah. <laughs> Overboard. What well, your parents gave up on you a long time ago, but your dad's <laughs> a still a stud. He's a stud, right? He's like a well to do man. So you might inherit a lot of money, right? One day. Yeah, I don't <clears throat> maybe. Are you out of the will? Is it that fucked? Probably. You think you're out of the will? Let's get you back in there. <laughs> Once uh this is the next video. How are things going with your mom? Because I feel like your mom was the closest person in your family that you were to. How yeah, are things that's going? Not true. That's not true? He's good. You mm -hmm. have a good relationship with your pops, right? She's the only one in my family that is more distant, I would say. Well, she's the one we met in the video. That's yeah. why I was thinking you guys are closer. So you're closer with your dad. Way yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah. My mom's just she'll disappear for years at a time when's the last time you saw your dad a uh, few days ago we were, yeah. yeah father's we day got, well a few days before father's day father's day celebration was the point yeah. of you saying him yeah. though basically yeah uh, and did you ask him like hey hey dad i uh got my act together i used to live by the river <laughs> now i fuck by it <laughs> <laughs> you want to put me in that will that's actually the first thing i said to him when we met up you fuck by the river yeah and did you point to her you know what? You know, look, <laughs> she's a beautiful girl, and I think that you get some points for that. Because uh, you know the dad, your dad, when he goes to bed at night, he goes, I completely fucked that one up. But he's getting some nice tail. Mm -hmm. He's getting some nice tail right now. That's true. It's Overboard, are you insulted by what Leo just said? I uh, I wasn't listening that well. Yeah, he said he opened no. in, in character as your father, Mr. Garcia. It's actually true, though. He said, I totally fucked that one up. Do you think he thinks that? Only because I know how pa parents are. He's like in his 60s, right? No, he saw me post a photo of her. And then like an hour later, he was like, you want to get tacos? <laughs> yeah. He's trying to fuck your girl. Now, listen. Now, I know like <laughs> parents in my parents, Dandy's parents, they're very worried when you went on this this whole like, I'm going to be a YouTuber thing. Your dad actually believed that you gave a lot of money to that Cloud Kid Kobe guy. <laughs> so he obviously doesn't think much hey, of man, you. Hey, man, I know a hot business opportunity when I see one. It was uh, TikTokers' faces yeah. on, on skateboarder decks. Yeah, yeah. It was like the whole <laughs> hype house had a signature board, and I just... <laughs> I had to put in 30K. If you don't know from the earlier podcast, it was one of my favorite things we've ever done. But we called Mr. Mullen and we said that Dan Danny told him that he gave $50,000 to 30,000, 30,000 to a guy Kid named Kobe. Cloud Kid Kobe. And, uh, and the guy was like ghosting him now. And, and his dad was like, you're fucked. <laughs> you're fucked. It was pretty hilarious. Now, I so I know how your parents think. So th no matter, okay, I, I believe that one, you're going to. I was living in tents when I was like 14, though, that. Okay. It's been a long time. 
So they maybe they don't maybe they just know that this is who you are now. Whatever. Yeah. Either way, I do think success is is going to happen, and I, I it'll be in many ways you're already successful. And you get pussy. And you get pussy, and that's really the only real true measure of a man. If you really think I have, about it, I save more money now than when I was like making a lot of money. Honestly, it's weird. How that's much you good. save in these days per month? Uh, a couple thousand dollars a that's month. Good. That's really yeah. good. That's good. That'll it's, add up quick. And be careful what you say because. A couple thousand dollars a month. If you've been telling Alex you're only making six hundred bucks per month on OnlyFans, she might be now wanting I mean, some of that. Yeah, no, I said how much I was making last pod. How much does she save out of a month? None. Yeah, none. negative. Does she get thousands of dollars, or are you just taking it all for yourself overboard? Um, taking it all for myself. Is that true, Alex? It is true. Really? I do pay for a lot of stuff, though. Jesus, overboard! You're some kind of. <laughs> is this real? Old school pen. <laughs> is this real? I'm a sugar mom. How are the funds divided? How are the funds from the OnlyFans divided? They're not divided I don't at think all. It is. It just goes so, to me. It goes to you, but do you and you don't give her any of the money? No, I, I don't give her any money. But do you give her? Uh, well, I, sh I should be getting some money. Well, yes. You're bringing this up for the first time now. I guess so. All right, we got to do it on this pod. I like it. Oh, we've be. only had OnlyFans for like a month. The money always goes to the pimp first. Yeah, <laughs> the, the bitch heck? gets the money later. Yep. The the the, the bottom bitch gets the money first, and then the other ones Listen, follow. I should be getting some should money. Should be fifty fifty if we're talking, if we're talking old school Muslim rules. Ninety ten. She'll get at least give her ten percent. <laughs> old school Muslim. It's <laughs> like a TikTok mm -hmm. contract. That's <laughs> what. Okay, okay. Over, overboard. This is this is insane to hear that you're not paying her a cent. She gets a place to live. It's a yeah. nice a broom closet. closet. Yeah, I mean, she's valuable to your operation. You realize that. If you were jerking off in an RV, mm -hmm. nobody would be paying. I mean, there might. I. All right, I it's have debatable. A, I'm going to pretend to be Alex. Alex, right? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, one of your girlfriends, and I'm just okay. going to ask you a couple questions. Oh my God! So who are you dating, Alex? Oh, I'm dating this guy. Am I? Is, am I oh, doing her? Or yeah. I was going to ask her. Like, <laughs> Daniel got really excited. <laughs> girl. You, wanna, you can yeah. be the other girlfriend. You got to be the <laughs> you other guys girlfriend. Act it out. You got to be the other girlfriend, and we're both. We're going to get to the bottom of this: who she's dating, what she's doing. Hey, uh, girl. How are you? Good. I got some black dick last night. It was the best. Oh, Carly, you slut. I know I'm a slut. Yeah. But talking about sluts, what are you up to, Alex? Oh, I'm just with overboard over here. Who's overboard? <laughs> Overboard's not here. Is Who's he a, overboard? Is he a rapper? Yeah, um, is, he a, is he a SoundCloud rapper? He's a YouTuber, I guess. Okay. Oh, is he, he's a YouTuber. Why did you say how, guess? How many, how many subs does he have? Well, 3.5 mil? Got, four? He got terminated. Oh, he, his <laughs> channel got boy. terminated? So got, what is he doing for to make a living? We're doing OnlyFans. Oh, wow. Wait, you're doing OnlyFans with a guy named Overboard? He's, yeah. He's got a huge dick and he's rich, right? <laughs> does he have? A, does he give you a lot of money? Do you split the... the I, don't how much? Get, I don't get any money. Oh, <laughs> but, he's, mean, but, he's, but he's great looking and he's got a lot of cool tattoos, right? I guess so. But Alex, <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Like, get that bag, girl. Like, it's I, 2022. You gotta, you gotta stand for feminism. I know. I should have. I should be getting most of the money. Yeah, like, like, like feminism, equality, like uh, abortion rights. <laughs> Alex you used to give it away for free in college, but you shouldn't be giving it away for free now. You're right. You're right. All Overboard right, so doesn't like where this is he going. Does not. He's He's like, this, is oh, like, this is like that Eddie Murphy <laughs> joke when he says that he wanted to get like a bush bitch from Africa, and then, uh, but he can't let her talk to an American woman even once because then she'll be like, Eddie, I want tough. Yeah, you don't want to oh. put too, too many thoughts in their head. Over, mm -hmm. Overboard, you are you are a, a good looking guy, I think, but yes. you do tend to score women slightly out of your league, not based on. Again, your appearance, it's just giving your life circumstances right now. I'm surprised mm. at the caliber of pussy you routinely get. Yeah. And is it because you are willing to run a joint OnlyFans with a girl and not give her a cent? Do they like that kind of authoritarian personality you yeah, have? Yeah, well, basically what we were talking about last podcast, the one that got corrupted mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, when you hobos are like wolves and, and people in houses are like shih tzus. So girls like wolves, you know. All right, rather... are you saying like like apocalypse type shit? Like if there's an apocalypse, she knows that we you know. About that you can, that's what he thinks. You can set up a tent. You can set up a tent, and you can um, yeah. 
All right. Well, look, she's young. So as she gets older, things are going to change. So I, I'm glad that you at least have a room for her. Now, Please. you can kind of take advantage of her financially now, but eventually there you're going to have to meet in the middle somewhere. Otherwise, yeah. there could be some court proceedings, let me say. <laughs> and, and, and you know, the dad that had that blow up at Thanksgiving, he's going to be the first who's going to be, I'll pay for the fucking lawyer. Mm -hmm. We're going to get this fuck for everything he has. And then what if a guy like Dino he comes along? He might get along? a couple of tents out of the deal well, if he wins. What if Dino comes along and offers her, <laughs> say, 1%? In fact... <laughs> In and fact, she's uh, gonna go with Dino's uh, offer. In fact, I think what if I wish we could have Dino approach her shirtless and put his fuck boy on and just be like, "Baby, I'll give you one percent." <laughs> I just want to see if he has any of that lethari. I know that he has that. Like, he's got that ladies' man in him somewhere. Dino, if she were down, if she were say Korean, would you start an OnlyFans with her? Not an OnlyFans. Not an OnlyFans. Can you be honest with us? Did you jerk we off we, to Kazumi? We we can't. We he's got to have a microphone. I know. God damn it! Did you jerk off to Kazumi? Say it loud. Just, yes or no? Nod. Yes. Once, you did. <laughs> he fucking did it once. This is <laughs> only for a little bit. This is something here because according tip. to Dino's logic, it's cuckolding to masturbate to pornography. I didn't look up any porn. You masturbated Dude. to a porn star, though, so you're in dangerous territory. I don't think, I don't think we know what we, did, what we really did. I think Kazumi is, like, the closest to an anime bitch in real life. Mm -hmm. And we brought her in here, and yeah. there was, I don't know, do you remember, the, they really changed as soon mm -hmm. as she came in here. Austin mm -hmm. and Dino were just uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. It was a strain, they, just, they were overtaken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I uh, revealed... <laughs> and a certain sports figure we've beefed with did a thing. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nobody's gonna fuck it out, dude. Nobody's gonna piece it together everything. But uh, I would say it's not shocking. It's not shocking. It's not shocking. D you're right though, Leo. I mean, mm. what we did it it would be like um it would be like well if we brought that sports figure I'm referring to into that girl I'm referring to mm. studio apartment. Oh my god, that, that level of happened? temptation would be there. And if, and if he came in in his Super Bowl winning oh. jersey and said, I'm about to clap damn cheeks. No. And fucking pounded her out while she wore the Super Bowl ring. Oh, my God. Oh my God. And then he... Um, you got no you got no idea then, what the size is? And then instead of uh, coming on her, he, he doused her in a Gatorade shower. Oh, my God, dude. I got no idea what the size is. They didn't have sex. Okay. They just... I think some flirting took place. Oh really? Yeah. No, I, I mean I'm actually being serious. Really? Did yeah. you hung out? I don't think they hung out. I think well, I think they were like they met at a club. Oh shit! And some like inappropriate stuff transpired. Really? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, look, uh, we have a beautiful OnlyFans couple in front of us. I think we should make them. Let's make. give them a little clout. Let's give them a little clout. This has got to be a big episode. They did have sex in our bathroom. That footage. Oh, that's you up on okay. the OnlyFans. Yeah. That's yeah. already Can I see up. that footage. Up. That's what we yeah, would like sure. to see. Listen, I overboard. I gotta say that's. Oh, Whatever God. money you generate from this podcast, you should give her 5% of it. I agree. Maybe uh, even 50%. I'll do two and a half, maybe. Two maybe. points. Alex, what do you do for money? <laughs> well, nothing. <laughs> but... So your dad's big my credit dad's card? My dad's been giving me some money. Oh, my God. That's going to add to his rant. Like, God, <laughs> fucking damn it. I'm paying for everything, you fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> I'm paying for it all. Do you pay Overboard's rent partially? No. <laughs> That's good, at least. Okay, so you're living some. <laughs> you moved out of your parents. Pretty much, yeah. God damn, they are upset. They're they're upset right now, but kind of. Yes. What? So, uh, but they <laughs> haven't. But they haven't. Your dad was you? really like cool with me yesterday. Yeah, he did. And he was he actually did saying like I was you. doing a good job with. He, her. What did he? I didn't even hear. Doing a good job with. Yeah, I really like the way she sucks your cock in the RV. I really like the way you uh, fucked her in that shady podcast studio bathroom. You're doing a hell of a job with my daughter, Sonny. As long as you don't get her pregnant yet. But eventually, we want some <laughs> oh, kiddos. Gonna, he's already he already has an illegitimate kid, Garrett. <laughs> Is it really going to be that long, Leo? No. Here we go. We are about to watch. Oh God! Alex the overboard get fans. In the po oh, okay. Oh, She's wow. it was just a blowjob. You're getting sucked in our studio. <laughs> Okay, no, and then there's a there's a cut, and they're back at home, and she's got a lollipop. Oh god, <laughs> she's got a huge lollipop. Is that? Are you trying to stimulate the pedophilic in your audience overboard? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> she's sure. she's got a giant lollipop, dude. Yeah, he made me buy it. Is there any explanation? Like, why does it cut rapidly from getting oral in the bathroom here to the to the RV? Or is this your is this your broom closet? 
What's the it's broom, broom closet. closet? Is it the broom closet? Yeah. Mm. Now, are you guys thinking long term, or is this, or is this kind of like a thing you're just gonna do for a little while? Um, What's going on? Look at that! Look at that shot. Is she like licking his ass here? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on there? What is, what, is that, what is that shot, Leah? What's Honestly, that? I don't watch these videos. I just put the I clips have, together. I don't it's watch here. any of them. You edit all Are you them. sitting on her face? Well, is she licking your ass overboard? Yeah, I don't know. That looks like some kind of... It looks like you guys are playing Twister. I think she's licking his ass while she's jerking him off. I haven't even watched this. Yeah, I don't really watch them. I just film it, and then I just cut the clips and upload it. That is gnarly. Then you cash in, and you <laughs> don't give her a stinking penny. Yep. So, what do we, what do you think, though? Let's cut her a little deal. I know that this isn't exactly how you want this to go. Okay. I, I mean. Um, how about if she does whatever you make after the for this week, this week when the podcast airs, whatever that is, you got to give her half. You got to give her half because there's got to be a follow up video, too. I think you guys should do something else in that bathroom today for our viewing audience. Possibly involving urine. Oh, God. Because that's what it's designed for. It's not designed for sex. You want someone to pee on someone? Mm -hmm. A golden shower. You want to pee on an, uh, an overboard? I don't want to get wrapped up in this because I think there's a hell of a lawsuit about to come down on overboard's head. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want to be involved in any of it. I don't want to be involved in fucking any of it, Leo. I could use some pub publicity with a lawsuit. You need all the publicity you can get. Yeah. So wait, so, is this, it's, so it's not a long-term thing. So Alex, you're just doing this for fun right now to kind of get out of the house i don't even know we haven't really talked about it so what, how do you what is your philosophy on life what is it what do you just kind of live day by day and yeah i guess for now for now did you did, but you always <laughs> wanted to do only fans um before i met him i like looked into it and okay. then i just didn't do it and mm -hmm. then we talked about it and i was like yeah I, whatever we what actually waited a while to before we did it you met on a yeah. dating app mm -hmm. yeah yeah and then he you came over to his broom closet and you fucked him yeah <laughs> did you um was it is it tough to fuck next to all those mops and cleaning chemicals a little uh, bit <laughs> are you guys uh do you think they're you guys are in love tell her you I love like her answer that first tell her you love her you like her a lot you. You no, like her? look her and take your yeah, sunglasses off and tell eyes. her you love her that's a little too much for me take your sunglasses off right now do you love her you love her overboard yeah no i like her a lot you love her yeah, I, tell, I like she, she's she's gonna fucking run. She's not gonna <laughs> keep doing the OnlyFans with you unless you tell her you love her. I like her. Take your sunglasses off and tell her you love her. He won't say it. I just said it. Right. Alex, would it make you feel better if he did? Maybe. You're ready to hear that from him. <laughs> You're ready to hear that from this man. <laughs> Must be nice having white Let's parents is what I keep thinking about when I look at both these people. My I'm dude. My dad's darker than you. Oh, he's Latino. That's right, Garcia. Yeah. But it. But okay. He never beat the shit out of you? No, he, well, <laughs> he tried, yeah. He tried, okay. So there was a point where he tried. Okay, so you guys have gotten over it. I feel like that's what it would be like for, with my dad, too. <laughs> he Eventually, he'd be like, shit out he you. did, yeah, I know. You know what, my, I mean, like, for you, you, Alex, so, like, let's say you and Garrett break up, and you just come over to, like, dinner in Huntington Beach. Your parents are just going to be like, well, uh, so, well, I hope, uh, <laughs> hope everything works out with Garrett. I hope you guys are still friends. Uh, well, let's move on to the next part of your life now. We'll pretend that all those videos don't exist. And we'll pretend father didn't get a swarm of, of OnlyFans links to his work oh, email. God. Yeah. That could happen. Every day oh, for the next seven years. No, I'm just kidding. But I already gave her a ring, though, so we're good. It's a promise ring. What is that ring? What is it? What, what does that signify? It, it signifies. That's a promise ring. So what are you? What are you promising? Uh, I didn't think about that that far to yet. To never pay her ring <laughs> for their camera sex. <laughs> oh, that's cute though. She's young. I mean, do you think you'll regret any of the decisions you make now? You're making now as a, as an adult. I, I thought about it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I was like maybe, but I don't know. I mean, the guy I won't guess... even tell you he loves you. I like yeah. you. Alex, what the fuck's up with this? <laughs> I mean, Alex, this guy's going to bend you over in a trailer and fuck <laughs> you and take the thousands of dollars coming in per month, and he won't even look you in the eye and say, hey, baby, you're the one. I love you. What's up with that? It's bullshit, huh, Alex? A little bit. Garrett, it's time to fucking shit or get off the pot, dude. Yeah, Dino's going to start I like that you got her a ring. <laughs> yeah, Dino could, man. But look, Alex... um, you might get too nervous. Well, let's not let let's not let overboard off the hook here. No, Matt, let's not. So overboard. 
Yeah, I'm ready. Bring it. Do you <laughs> think that there's a, a long term potential for you and Alex? Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. You do. You could see a family. Let's do you want to have it? Do you want to try again? Have another kid one day? I yeah. I'm, I I. I'm gonna get it pregnant. Think probably, about all, think of all the money I'll make from pregnancy porn. Mm-hmm. I've probably came in here like thirty times so far. Are you on birth control, Alex? <laughs> well. No, exactly. I've been off it for like a week, Great. two weeks. More like a month. So you're practicing safe sex. Fantastic to hear. Leo, my mother told me that you know if you love somebody within the first week of meeting them. That's Yeah, I've heard that. I, uh, there was a great story one time. I, I, I met this old Polish couple. They're both in their 90s, and this woman was feeding this guy, uh, her Both mate. Holocaust survivors. Probably. Mm-hmm. They, were, they were married for 75 years, and she told me if you even have to question it, they're not the one. Which so they were married for. So they got married. They're like fifteen. Yeah, back in the day they would. Listen, they said that if it's more than three or four days go by, you'll know. So Garrett. Well, yeah, no, I told her right. Like, you did say or, that. The answer is yes or no. Do you love her or do you not love her? Yeah, I do. You love her. Damn, that's that's awesome. Look her in the eye and tell her you fucking love her. I like you a lot. No, tell her you <laughs> tell her you oh love God. her. Boy, this bullshit. I'm like... losing patience with him too. <laughs> tell her you love her. What? You're a nice lady. He said Fuck so you. many crazy things to people, but this is the hardest one. <laughs> yeah, you you walk up to people and tell them, "I like the noise of a baby drowning." <laughs> you say true. stuff like that. I'm going to put a cockroach in your pee hole. You say mm-hmm. stuff like that on college campuses across California, yeah. but you won't look at the girl who makes you a living and tell her you fucking love her. You make me sick overboard. Yeah. You have said it before. There it is. We outed him. <laughs> gay. Now, now, when you gay, gay, he loves girls. Gay. Oh God. Now look at when you envisioned your life when you were a child. Did you think that porn was yeah. going to be in it? You yeah, did? I knew once I made a million dollars, I just would want to have sex on camera. Yeah, you made a million dollars once. Yes. Wow. Back in the day. That's incredible. That's cool. It's something to just one video made half a million dollars. That's Which insane. one? I like your boobs. Well, How many views? Do you have any investing advice? Yeah, I, <laughs> I have a lot of investing advice. Mm, do the opposite of whatever you did. That's that's a good start. That's step one. Mm-hmm. No Porsche. Porsche is actually good because if I still had it, it'd be worth more now. But damn, no Mercedes or BMW. There we go. Yeah, that's true. You those, those stick just... with nine eleven Porsches, you'll be all right. But yeah, hmm. the nine twenty eight is pretty good too. They're getting there now. Okay, there. I just want to wrap my head because I guess it's society's making it more and more the norm. Is that kind of how you're 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 dealing with it, Alex? It's like who care who cares? There's yeah. gonna be OnlyFans moms. It doesn't matter that my little, little Timmy in kindergarten might have a couple kids with iPads come up to him and be like, look, this is your mom's high school. That would be weird. Yeah. But, yeah. You I think he's going to grow up there with a chip no on his shoulder? There would be no without sex. I mean, yeah. So, uh, I mean, that's true. And he'd be like, well, that's just how my mom I made. They documented the time they had sex to make me. And that's pretty cool. You got Your kid's going to have to, like, have thick skin. But that's okay. I mean, for... Many, I mean, your kid just might be bullied even if he doesn't, you know, have a mom. They can be friends with Adam 22's kid. They can hang out. <laughs> <laughs> or you could change his name or something. I mean, it depends, but you, you're not, you just don't worry about those kind of things I, anymore. I did think about it. I was like, I was, we were talking about it. I was like, what if my kid one day is like, so, like, sees that. But, and then how do you guys get out? You just go, well, fuck it. Let's just fuck now. Like, how does it, how does it get to, you never seen your parents having sex? No. Unfortunately, no. I never have. Unfortunately, I've heard I mean, it before. Be nice. But, mm. but not You've heard it. Parents fucking. I have. It's mm. pretty gross. Mm-hmm. You should. I don't know. Talk to your mom about starting an OnlyFans. <laughs> Would you let Garrett fuck your mom for content? Oh my god. No. That's how she heard it. Her parents run an audio only OnlyFans. Oh it's old my school. god. <laughs> it's like uh, radio. The golden fans. age of radio. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Instead of the Lone Ranger, though, you get to hear Alex's mom get fucked. Instead of the Ranger, talkies, right? it's the moanies. I feel like she would do that. <laughs> Listen, Garrett, She'd do only would you fuck her mom? Uh, well, I mean, like metaphorically speaking, possibly. Oh. <laughs> you fuck her mom. People huh? think she's a milk. Oh, I so. bet. Which? Why did you say she'd do OnlyFans? What? What well, gave you that inkling? 
I feel like she she's just like that, and she cheated on my dad with a twenty five year old. So does your oh dad know God. that? <laughs> does your dad know that? Yes. Feel like Who you was it? Upset. Wait, <laughs> who was the twenty five year old? Crazy. It's okay. Um, <laughs> she worked with him oh in New York. God. That's why they moved here. Where do they work? She worked at CVS Pharmacy. She <laughs> was a checkout lady, no. and Our he was the security guard. His name was Jerome, and he was Damn. like, "Hey, Mama, I like what I fucking see." You think he said that? Yeah. And she's it, like, oh, Jerome, um, I've never seen a black cop before. Listen, the way you rung up those fucking pampers and that fucking Gatorade, <gasps> that shit was hot, mama. You want to see the black cock? You know what? I haven't had sex in ages. My husband, he just doesn't, he has low testosterone. Uh, and he, just, he works too hard. Uh, and... That motherfucker, limp dick, white ass motherfucker. Yeah. I'm going to bend you. On my 15, I'm going to take you around back and bend your ass over. Oh my bitch. God, that sounds... Kind of, that sounds good. You know what? Let's do it. I, mm -hmm. you, let's do it. Three okay. weeks later, a plane ticket is booked. The family yes. has to flee. Well, it's kind of funny because she told me he had a micro penis, but what? she still liked him. Well, I hope her, your dad knows that. <laughs> he I hope he, he did great. That he is, is good. Really? Like, if your fucking, if your girlfriend or wife cheats on you and the guy has a micro penis, it's like 75% less bad. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. Seven, like, I would hardly even care at that point. It's was really, he, was he black? Yeah. By <laughs> no. I don't know why, but he wasn't black. Okay. No, he I was, was black. Yeah, I was curious. I, I still thought he might have been black because it hey, doesn't make Margaret, sense. The way you ring up that Gatorade and those pampers, it really revs my engine. <laughs> Wait you know, a second. Like, your dad, I mean, did he get mad? Did he strike oh, your mom? He was, he was so Did bad. he hit her once? I don't know. I don't think so. So you just gotta like, how does he, did your father, like white people swear he, to God, like they think like getting mad is a different from what like a Latino, uh, like a uh, person might think getting mad as so there was a girl who was like, yeah, my dad is crazy. Like he's, he yelled at me once when I got like an F and I was like, what the no, he fuck? Did go crazy though. But it, okay. So he went crazy. He Explain. Went crazy. What'd he do? Kind of on me, I guess. Because Wait, what? Because I knew, she told me, she was, the only one she told was me first. Oh, God. What did the guy do that? <laughs> what positions did they have at CVS? No, time out. I, now I know why you're doing OnlyFans, by the way. Your mom, <laughs> trauma <laughs> she traumatized yeah, the she, living shit out of you. She did trauma. Isn't she kind of crazy? What do you mean kind of? That's the most <laughs> fucked up thing I've ever heard. And a lot of she, mothers do this. It was traumatizing. To their, to their, to yes. their, they think of their... Their daughters as more like friends. Yes. And when you when you treat your daughter like a friend and your mom, you fuck her up for yep. life. She acts like a high school girl. Wait, wh where do I single what, moms breed hoes? What were their professions? Oh well, they're, she's married. What was their <laughs> what? I'm not jobs, calling her a hoe. What jobs did they have there? At CVS. Yeah. Well, she was a pharmacist technician. Oh, so that's a good job. And he was the pharmacist. And I think so. Oh, he that's was a 25 like year old pharmacist. <laughs> no, maybe no. he was a technician. I think they were both technicians. Both technicians. All right, so mm -hmm. it's like a it's like a good you know little job. He was like fucked up on oxycod. <laughs> <for sure. laughs> that he was. And he gave her one, and then it was over. That's that's a good time. Imagine just ripping oxys and banging. Mm. I know. Where do they fuck? Motel. I think so. She took my dad's credit card and bought a hotel. Oh my god. And he saw the receipts. <laughs> and then how did he oh how did God. he piece it together from that <laughs> I know. he was like why are you at motels or hotels and then he called the front desk man <laughs> and uh the guy at the front desk was like oh yeah i saw a lady meet matching that description come in here just the other day mm -hmm. with a six foot seven black man and he said with a micro penis and, I, and i'm not <laughs> even, i believe he, that's uniform. the good news <laughs> He had his finger up, uh, right up her ass uh, while we were waiting in line. We all talked about it, actually. There's it was a video of it. We can send it to you, sir. It was a first at the Motel 6 here off the yeah. freeway in Buffalo, New York. Where are you from? Wherever the hell? Uh, Saratoga Springs. Same thing. All right, so when this happened, your father moved God. because the entire town found out? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, well, she ran away. Oh, my God. <laughs> she, took, she ran away to here. And then he followed her. And, and it's it, all good now. And it's it's good now, yeah. Low key, he's yeah. simping. Low key, he's, he's simping. A high key simp. Look, you know, we gotta give it up to the girls. You know, they're making they're making a strong push to be men nowadays. You know, we got Jada cheating on Will and mm -hmm. she and they're good. Mm -hmm. You know, she's going bald too, like a man. She's going bald like <laughs> a man. You know what I mean? And like we they're got, doing uh, their best. Well fucking 
uh, no, that goes the other way. I was gonna say we get Leah Thomas, but she's fucking. She's trying to be a dude. Mm -hmm. The World yeah. Swimming yeah. like Association yeah, or whatever officially. It, no, you're right. Yeah. That transgenders can't compete. Dude, they mixed that. that motherfucker, that. dude. That's good. Thank God, dude. Yeah, that yeah. shit's fucking scary. I saw an article in the LA Times today bitching about how like 12 year olds can't get access to gender affirming castration drugs. To come back to you it's though, sick. Alex. So yes. your dad's cool with a micro penis guy in a lab coat, fucking <laughs> your mom. I, he, I guess so. So did he do one of those things? Was it like in Crazy Stupid Love when he gets cheated on? Did he go and like get like like a, a makeover? Oh, he freaked out and then he cheated on her back. He got Fuck back yeah, at her. That's he, the best part, actually. But but Let's go. That's the oh, part. Was she a no, hooker? One of your friends. <laughs> the best. This is my favorite part of the story. What? So Austin, can you turn my headphones out a little bit? I'm sorry, dude. I might use a down. My ears are fucked up. I was home one day. It was my brother, me, and my ex. And um, he this came. This is when home. I started respecting her father and really like actually grew in a. I was home when this happened. So he came back home with this like college girl. girl down. Mm, one second, sorry. There. Hello. No, this mine's down now or whatever. It's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> with this college girl. <laughs> And he took her out to dinner and bought her a car and took her to get groceries. He bought her a vehicle? Yes. <laughs> how how expensive was this car? I don't I think it was a Range Rover. What? And your, your father has a lot of money. Um, I guess so. But he just spent how much did he what do you mean? Like he leased it or he bought it? I don't like know a cash? what he did, but he gave her a car. Some I don't wow. know if he like he probably not too good with details. For a while. He probably leased it. This guy it. might have been a pharmacy technician. It might have been a Range Rover. <laughs> he might be rich. <laughs> A lot of stuff's pretty wishy-washy in your life. All right, know, so, so to, like, he remember. fucked a college girl. And when I was home. What you... And I heard them banging in their in my parents' bedroom. Whoa, and and your mother wasn't there. Was the she chick was hot? She was gone. She was gone. Um, she was all right, I guess. How old was your father at the time? I think he's like 43. Yeah, this is oh, a couple, this very like young months ago. No, he's 50, 53 now. Oh, he's 53. Never mind, 53. Okay. So, yeah. And then I like came downstairs and I was like, "Who the fuck is this bitch?" Oh my god! And she was like, "She's your age." She was my age, I think. Wow, twenty something. Well, that's wow. respectful. It's good payback, though. So, so Garrett, I think uh, in conclusion, you've got a good shot at fucking her mom. Maybe. It all probably. Comes back. Damn. <laughs> Honestly. So that's what happened. So your mom, <laughs> your mom traumatized you, and then you said, "You know what? None. A family. The family unit's bullshit. I might as well do porn." Pretty much. What? <laughs> I guess. Well, well, if you guys end up getting married and have a family and have a, you know, like this is your career, that could be good. It could be a good thing. I mean, there's people that make it the, the best, it, it, but you guys got to work at it. All right. I say start getting creative. Start yeah. Doing or things some props public. and stuff. They'll be here in a couple oh, okay. days. Props. Fuck yeah. What kind of props? Butt plugs and diff oh. various costumes. Oh, sure. Shirts. What are you going to dress up as? Uh, I'm going to... Uh, dress up as overboard and she'll probably just be some sort of slut mm. very creative <laughs> okay. nurse school girl all that stuff yeah there's the nurse what about doing a dinosaur one like, <sighs> yeah I, that, you dress up as the dinosaur i was thinking about that yeah That'd you have those costumes still i mean you could That'd borrow one and you do it out in the woods dude it'll be legitimate dino porn oh yeah danny one of the boxes from your house was like a Chinese box with some giant costume. Yeah. What is that? It's a pigeon costume. <laughs> is it yours? Yeah. When I first started making content, there was this yeah, dude. I'd like to borrow that if I could. There was, huh. there's no cock hole in it. I'm sorry. <laughs> there was this dude named Zeb who ran a, a, a Facebook page called Fortify Games. And it was a gigantic Facebook page. And they would share your content as long as you slid in a clip of you playing one of their games they had. I think like Color Switch was their big game. And I would do that and he would always reshare my shit, but he was dope. He was this Australian guy who actually liked my content. And he like he was like trying to hang out with me once. But he had a new game based on pigeons and he sent me out a fucking costume to do an ad in, but then I think he just got out of the business before I did the ad. Wow. So you have a we giant... can still utilize it. I have the costume. It's probably going to give whoever wears it cancer. I mean, it's straight from China. Or, yeah, coronavirus. Like, the original sure. strain of sure. corona is on that costume. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, I think we're, we've are we got to the end of the road here. We've learned about, 
your complex relationship, both of your complex home lives. Wild. I like I it. Know. I mean, I, I do think that you guys are destined to have, uh, you know, a great life together. Just stay positive. Keep making the content. But, you know, do it and stick with it for a while. I, I'd like to see where it goes. And uh, definitely subscribe to their OnlyFans. Definitely worth it, especially fans of the Leo and Danny show. You mm. must see what is going on. There's a high chance yeah. that Alex's mom pops up in one of the videos <laughs> soon. I'll yeah. have his Twitter linked below, and then that's how you'll get to it. Also, yes. my YouTube's below. I stream here every day. All right, <laughs> and that's been the Leo and Danny Show. Thank you.